Hello? Late again. I mean, I, I look, I'm not late at all today. So I have I have no idea what you're talking about. Not only am I not late, I've never been late. Once in my life, he says while he turns on the lights in the background. I'm like Gandalf, man. I arrive precisely when I mean to. I arrive not not a moment too soon. Sorry, I I arrive precisely when I mean to. Mad Larkin, thank you for the twenty-two months, bro. Nick Fitz, thank you for the thirty-five months. Canadian Magic, thank you so much for the Prime Vash Rise. Thank you for the thirty-one months. Oh yeah, no, I I yeah, I'm a little late today. I am sorry. I I, I got stuck in a couple of calls and um yeah one thing led to another i had to re-record something for the faroe islands video I had to do this I had to do that and all of a sudden me starting right at 11 turned into me starting the stream an hour and a half late so i do apologize for that oh geez um i also hope that you had a good weekend do you guys have a good weekend i mean maybe everybody had a good weekend um Except for Manchester United, that's been there. That's been there for a while. Now I, I always, you know, I, you said you want the music louder. Is that what you want? You want it up there, like that? Does that sound good? But no, you had a good weekend. Said I'm in uni, so it's a little tough. Afro Chuck, thank you for the 33 months, dude. I appreciate it. Oh, tough weekend. Lost in hockey, 7 nothing, and United lost. Oh. Dare Loki, thank you for the five gifted subs. Oh. Holy smokes, dude. Thanks for making five people's days. Enjoy the bacon. Enjoy the emotes. Ovatsug Shrugan, not the real Kimmich. Suspicious. Pretty sure it's the real Kimmich. Um, <laughs> Lost Champ, Looney Lee, enjoy the bacon, enjoy the emotes. Thank you, dude. Kane, thanks for the 46 months. Real Fred, thank you for the 17 months. Land Day, thank you for the 31 months. Wake up, play football manager, watch, uh, watch Zealand sleep, repeat. That's what I do, too. I finish streaming, and then I play football manager, and I watch my own VOD. Land, <laughs> Land Day, thank you for the 31 months. Applied for your dream job. Saved an email. You're a top candidate. They'd really like you to join. Oh! Congrats, dude. Congratulations, Fred. That is awesome. Thank you so much for supporting the channel for 31 freaking miles. Or 17. Sorry, I got distracted. Fred, love you, but you're not the guy that got the job. Land Day, you're even better than James Bond now. Thank you for 31 months, and congrats on the job. Any opinions on the Euros group stage draw? I freaking forgot about the Euro group stage draw. Vs, thank you so much for the prime. Lord Lindo, thank you for the prime. I appreciate you guys supporting the channel with that $5 from Sugar Daddy Jeff Bezos. Thank you for spending your Twitch primes here. Enjoy the bacon. Enjoy the emotes. Get in the subsection of the Discord, my dudes. I forgot about the Euro's group stage draw. I don't have any particular thoughts. If Estonia makes it, they're going to get murdered. Um, but the reason, the reason that I was laughing, you guys saw it, right? You guys saw the European group stage draw. You know why I'm laughing. Yeah, so there may or may not have been, and I'm not laughing for the reason you think I am. I'm not laughing for the reason. You, so there was some moaning at the European group stage draw. All right. There was some moaning. And it, I know what you're thinking. It wasn't Gareth Southgate in the front row. It was somebody had like taped a speaker somewhere on the stage. And it was basically, you know, some moaning. Now, the reason this is hilarious is because nothing drives me more crazy than the events that FIFA organize. You know what I mean? Like the most self-important, self-righteous 
pompous, unnecessarily elongated events of all time. Nobody cares. I couldn't give less of a shit. Like, I, like, why does it take five hours to do this stuff? Right, I know the Euros group stage draw didn't take five hours. I, like, I, I said FIFA. I mean all of them. This isn't a specific FIFA problem. UEFA obviously does this. I mean, look, it's probably Oceani is probably doing this, right? Footballing organism. CONCACAF does this and nobody cares. Right? I know normally when I'm dumping on FIFA, I want to dump on FIFA specifically. I use the name as a placeholder for organizations that are administering football. Right? Comable definitely does this. I don't like how <laughs> absurd these draws are. You know? Like, pretty soon we're going to have, like, Britney Spears up there doing a halftime show in the middle of the draw because we've drawn pot, you know, one and two, like... Daria, thank you so much for the eight months. And so while I do think it is very high school and probably a little immature for the sound that the guy chose to play being like moaning on the stage, I am appreciative that somebody is willing to prank them because I think they deserve to be pranked. That's it. I, I, I appreciate somebody being willing to prank them because I think they deserve to be pranked. And honestly, the guy that was doing the first, like, ball pull when the moaning started kept a straight face really well, and I got a ton of respect for that guy. Smarf, thank you for the five months. Will I do a Euro watch along? I don't know. Should I? That's uh, next summer, right? Do a Euro's watch along every... Well, here's the fun thing. Euros is the same time as Copa America, which means we could do like full day watch alongs, like morning stream, evening stream. Fisher, you found me through the World Cup watch along. Boom, baby. Oh, I mean, don't worry. Like, uh, you know, I want to eventually learn enough about the women's game to do the women's World Cup as well, but I don't know. You know, I'm, I would just be like, well, I know the people on the U.S. team. <laughs> Uh, like I, I, the world, world cups, I freaking love world cups. I love the idea of doing watch alongs for them. I've actually recently, I've been kicking around AFCON is like into January. What would the hours be on that? It probably wouldn't be bad. I probably have to wake up early, but probably wouldn't be bad. You do AFCON. Yeah. Nothing says dedication, like a 6am viewing of like Comoros and Tanzania, brother. That's how you know I'm in it for the long haul. AOE, thank you for converting to a tier one, dude. You are awesome. Smart, thank you for the five months supporting the channel. Zelra, thank you for the seven. Dariath, love you, Hal. Thank you so much for the prime. Spiff Pal with the nine months. Jay Jez with the six months. Congrats on that silver bacon. Scott home for from an 11, uh, what is this? 11 hour ER visit. Holy. I'm glad you're okay. Have kind of be goaded. We already knew you were all in. When it comes to the international game, I I like to think I might be one of the world's foremost experts on like international tournaments. That's probably not true, but I definitely fancy myself as knowledgeable. When's the shaved head coming back? Honestly, it's not. I I've been liking the hairstyle we're going now. I think I I think I got a haircut after the marathon. I'm thinking I look a lot less clapped than I used to, which is nice. Um, so we're, we're, you know, we're just going to try and keep that momentum going. Uh, and stick with as much hair as possible. The U19 underwater hockey world championship is also at the same time. No, I've actually, I've been toying with the idea of basically like we're starting to set up, like, you know, we do like on Saturdays, we just hang out and watch matches together. I've still been, I've been trying to work on the best way to do that, which is why we haven't started doing it already. But I've been, try I've been trying to work on the best way to do it. I obviously can't show the matches. We'd be creating some sort of automated system to show lineups. I know Kurt does something like that. He does, like, Champions League watch-alongs. He has a lot of fun with those. If you don't cover the curling World Cup, we riot. Dude, I'm not kidding. I got to screw my mic in real quick. It's falling off. But I, if you've never watched curling, you haven't really lived. Like, you haven't experienced the full spectrum of sport 
until you've seen five alcoholic dads from Wisconsin win a gold medal. You know, you haven't. You might, you might think you have. You might have seen Messi play. You might have seen Michael Jordan play. But you've never seen five alcoholic dads from Wisconsin win a gold medal. And that you've been missing on. Beta, thank you so much for the prime. That's what the U.S. did. The U.S. showed up with a couple of dad bods and, you know, some serious backward hat game and won the gold medal in curling. It was awesome. Fisher, thank you for the two months. <laughs> curling hits so different. Master Chicken, thank you for the prime. It's awesome. If you're ever watching the Olympics, watch curling. Master Chicken, you spent $5 of Jeff Bezos' money, which is awesome, too. No, I, lo I love curling. I freaking love curling. Asian Cup? Dude, when is the Asian Cup? Is this summer, too? Are they at the same time? No. Like, Euros, Asian Cup, double watch along? Something like that. When is the Asian Cup? Oh, it's in January. Oh, my, it's like the same time as AFCON. Dude, I'm getting up at 6.30 a.m. for Australia, India. Japan, Vietnam. Macwell will be up for that. Macwell will be awake. Japan, Vietnam, to watch Vietnam lose. But he will watch Vietnam lose with, you know, with enthusiasm. What are the groups for the Asian Cup? Tajikistan! Let's freaking go. I didn't know they made it. I know India made it. Hong Kong made it. Sorry, China. China made it, guys. China made it twice. That's so unfair. I just don't want to get assassinated. Okay. <clears throat> Pal Wait, no, Hong Kong and Palestine are in the same group. Politics intensifies. That's sick. Uh, Japan, I'm, I'm glad they both made it. Uh, Japan, Indonesia, Iraq, Vietnam. Um, the... Dude, I have no idea who's getting second in this group behind Japan. Like, no clue. Malaysia's better than I thought. I've been sleeping on Malaysia. They might get out of this group. Jordan, Bahrain, Malaysia, uh, Saudi Arabia, Thailand, Kyrgyzstan. Kyrgyzstan. Dude, the stands are underrated. We have three stands in the Asian Cup. Tajikistan, Kyrgyzstan, and uh, Uzbekistan. Oh, we might be moving jobs today, dude. I don't know. We might be moving jobs today out of South Africa. What are the AFCON groups? Oh, come on. I just wanted the Google thing. I had to do this. We stand the stands. Really? We, we, Google's like, wow. Google, that is so racist. Wow. You've got the Asian Cup groups but you don't have the AFCON groups available on the Google, res like, really? I had to go find them. Are they not drawn yet? No, they are drawn. Wow, Google. Wow. Unbelievable. Uh, I've ooh, nice. Ivory Coast, Nigeria, and then a Guinea Derby. I am so here for that. I am so here for a Guinea Derby. Egypt, Ghana, Cape Verde, Mozambique. Oh, yeah. Prejudice, thank you for the 38 months. That is a long time supporting the channel. You got that Z bacon. Tastes even better than normal bacon. Can't, oh, dude, what are these groups? Egypt, Ghana, Senegal. There's going to be, I'm telling you, these three groups have Ivory Coast, Nigeria, Egypt, Ghana, and Senegal, Cameroon, Guinea. And, dude, this group C is the group of death. Group C is fully the group of death because the Gambia is a dark horse to make the World Cup this year, although they did immediately fumble the bag after I made that prediction. They still have talent. <laughs> They've got multiple, multiple dudes in uh, like Prim, Syria. They're good. There's going to be a terrible group down here. This isn't it. This is okay. Algeria, Burkina Faso, Mauritania, Angola. That's like a classic AFCON group. That's not it either. It's got to be the last one. Tunisia, Mali, South Africa, Namibia, that's three teams that are expecting to be able to compete at a high level. Ah, you know, these are probably as balanced as groups could possibly be. Morocco, DR Congo, Zambia, Tanzania. I also didn't even know Tanzania had made it when I made that <laughs> when I made that prediction. I didn't even know they'd made it. Group B, no, the group B is tough. I'm gonna say group C is the group of death. I think Gambia is better than Mozambique. 
Not that Mozambique's bad, but I think Egypt and Ghana are full cut ahead of uh, Cape Verde and Mozambique. We all cheer for the yellow soccer team, the yellow soccer team, the yellow soccer team. We all cheer for... <laughs> all right, so Asian Cup, AFCON wins the kickoff. January 13th. Dude, they literally have the exact same calendar. Oh, sorry. The 12th at 11 a.m. But, yeah, a Asian Cup kicks off one day before uh, AFCON. That's going to be sick, dude. That's going to be sick. All right, we are finishing the season today, so I want to jump into FM a little earlier than normal. That's okay with you guys. I know we normally we sit around and talk uh, we talk ball for like an hour or two, but we're finishing the season today, so I want to dive into it. Hell yeah! No cooking Manchester United? No, I'm going to give them a little time. I feel like I've been cooking Manchester United too much. I could tell it was getting bad. When I when somebody was tweeting at me like, dude, why do you hate Manchester United so much? And I'm like, you know, I wanted to respond and be like, no, I just make fun of every team. But then it was like, but I really have only just been making fun of Manchester United <laughs> recently <laughs> because they're just they're just the team. Like even Tottenham's missing like four dudes and they're able to, you know, go to Manchester City and gut out a draw. Like what a match that was. Yeah, that was tremendous. John, thank you for the prime. Christian Pulisic scored a goal, too. Christian Pulisic scored a goal. A goal. Oh, sorry. Uh, that's just top of the fold for me. That's my American showing. How long do you think? Here, here's my question to you guys. How long do you think Eric Ten Hag has? So we have eight matches left. And then we've also got the Ned Bank Cup quarterfinal away against Stellenbosch, which is a bit of a, let's see. Yeah, the first touch on the Pulisic goal was nuts. It was this, it was actually, it wasn't, it, Pulisic's touch was better, but there was that dude on um, uh, the first goal that Burnley scored, Jakob Brun Larsen. It, he, it was a very similar looking play and he took a really good touch to set it up. He's getting sacked next UCL match. A loss to Chelsea seals it. I don't know, but uh, how long is this contract? I feel like they gave Ten Hag like a really long contract. Oh, yeah. Let me show you the table so that we're oriented. Because uh, even though it's the first match of the stream, the match we're about to play is very important. There are three teams within three points. Mamelody Sundown, have won, they've won every trophy since 2018. Uh, every 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, seven straight. <laughs> hey, you're the 20 months, therapist. That was good. Kogan, thank you for the 42 months, brother. Thanks for supporting the stream for 42 months. I added a billion in profit uh, with the editor to see if the board would approve youth facilities. And then after I took it away, it still counted towards FFP. Stonks. All you have to do is just write a billion dollars on your reporting form one time and they'll be like, yeah, man, you're good. You're Gucci. Uh, yeah, it's because they added an R dash in front of numbers for regions. Uh, so what you can do is head over to the Discord where somebody who's way better at coding than me has already figured out a solution for the problem. Uh, what we are working on with the guy that uh, helps build the app, like with the team that helped put the whole thing together for us, is to come up with like a nice written guide on how to install it. But if you're an enterprising individual, uh, the the guide that the person came up with is actually pretty good. You just actually you you have to go into the code a little bit. Um, yeah, but they did change. Uh, they did change the way. Oh no, that's Kermit Erasmus. I'm trying to put the wrong guy up there. Do I not have, um, I guess not. I don't have Shega Fatso Mabasa. He's out. So we've got this match. Then we have international break. And then we run in the end of the season. And we are finishing the season today. So put your seat belts on. Put your seat belts on. Lorenzo Shy, you're on the bench. Somehow I just always end up with defenders. This is the only guys left down here.
Toss some rehab on Goodman Maselle. I like how he's like, yeah, I feel like I've achieved everything that I can in this job. And I'm like, dude, we have never won. We, we, have, you, we haven't won the league here. <laughs> And we have a we have a chance to go after that this season. So let's uh, let's try to do that. God, our team is so good. Oh, we've made our team so good. This is not an easy match either. It's Cape Town City. We're going with a little four four two. We're gonna take their space away. We're gonna take it to them, and we're gonna win this match. All right, boys. Here we go. All right, boys. Here we go. Come on, boys. Watch Shy decide the match. Hey, you had a pretty good cup match last time. You know, I wouldn't say he, I, I I wouldn't say he was barbecuing, but he was cooking. Calliance, thank you for the seven months. Wow. Smaps, thank you for the eleven months, dude. Jimmy uh, Jimmy James Roach signed shirt. <laughs> I like it. You put the striker's marking on never. Thank you. I will go change that immediately. I did not mean to do that. I misclicked. I appreciate, you know, you guys have the extra sets of eyes. So when I, when I mess something up, you can save me. Uh, did, I miss, did I miss the weekly laugh at Manchester United? No, we're trying to take it easy on them. Because I think they're about to have to fire their coach, which is going to be a little awkward. But, you know, if you want my honest opinion, I think I'd probably, like, if I'm going based off, like, American sports, I'd probably give Ten Hag to the end of the season. i give Ten Hag to the end of the season. You never know how things can turn around. They almost fired Sir Alex Ferguson, you know, the la it, it, like, and ob he's obviously not a bad coach with what he was able to do at Ajax. I'd probably give him to the end of the year. I just don't think they have the patience to do that. All right, I'm going to take that off now. Where's bad boy? Yeah, he's working with the U21s. You know, we don't want to rush him physically, right? Because he's only 16 years old. I th no, the 3-3 match in Turkey was a banger. For the neutral, if I wasn't a United fan, yeah, it's awesome. And that Galatasaray team is good, right? But it, it, it's like... It's more, it just brings you face to face with a failure in a group where they really, it, you're, you're Manchester United, right? And you're behind Copenhagen and Galatasaray in the group. It's like, you, you have to be better than that if you want to consistently succeed there. But I believe in Ten Hag, I believe Ten Hag's a good coach. It clearly hasn't gone well. Uh, he's inherited bad vibes. And, you know, sometimes, like, everybody can attest to this. Like, right? I, uh, like, if you're if you've ever been in a relationship, which I realize I am a, a streamer of football manager. And so the sum total of the people in the chat, including me, that can say they have is like two percent. So but but for those two percent of people, you're right, you've ever been in a relationship. I most of the time when you like ask somebody out or something, right, it doesn't go well. Right? Not every time that you have a relationship with another individual is it going to go well. You know what I mean? And so if Ten Hag comes into this locker room, the next locker room he goes in, maybe he nails the relationship. You know, maybe he brings Anthony the right color flowers and Anthony doesn't beat him up. You know? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, sometimes in interpersonal relationships, you need. Like, you know, some, oh, get in, get in the goal. Sometimes in their personal relationships, you just mess it up. And what strikes me as happening at Manchester United is that Ten Hag, oh, he's a good coach. I think everybody can agree is a good coach, or at least used to be a good coach, right? I don't think you lose that overnight, though. Uh, that he just hasn't nailed the personal relationships in the dressing room. Like, I don't think that he's nailed it. I, I mean, you know, you don't have this many falling out with players unless you're like Sir Alex Ferguson and succeed. You, know, like, you just don't. The Ted Hogs over here like, I can fix him. Yo, Z, what's up? Hey, look, nothing's proven on Anthony, all right? They're just allegations. You're innocent until proven guilty. Okay. 
And then your PR team tells you to walk around with your kid in your arms. It's a great bounce back move, baby. Yeah. I <laughs> uh, Look, the, oh, this song is fantastic also. It is a fantastic song. But I think Ten Hag has just failed the relationships in the dressing room. And sometimes that can turn around over time. Like all of a sudden, Jane Sancho and Varane are gone and like it's life is better. And then sometimes it doesn't get better and you need to go to a new place and start over. And Manchester United should. But considering I think that's the problem, I would give him till the end of the season. Now, I don't think Manchester United will give him to the end of the season. I think he's going to get sacked if they lose like two more games. It's a good start for the boys here. Oh, also, I mean, I'll t oh, there we go. There we go. That's good. That makes me feel better. Now I can have this conversation that I want to have. So I'm going to, are you in the 2%? Nope. 98% massive. <laughs> nice. I like it. We had a poll. That's good. Finally broke through. I, we were, we were dominating. Kudumela, who is 5'4", by the way. He is five feet, four inches tall. And that guy wins so many headers. Oh, get in. Oh, what an extra pass. Goal! Oh, my God. What an extra pass. I, dude, what in the sweaty FIFA is this? Oh, that's a, a brilliant pass. Like, whoa. That is hot. All right, eight matches left in the league, including this one. We need to make up three points on the Mamelodi Sundowns, and we're well on the way. Inda with a brilliant assist to Kudumela, who's got two goals recently back from injury. It's a great hit by Saavedra, too. I did. I forgot the conversation. What was that? We scored two goals. Forgive me. Oh! I'll take a simple yes or no in the chat, and I already know it's going to be mostly no. But do you know anything about college football? College American football. Because I'm not kidding when I say that the biggest crime committed in sports this Oh, that's a goal. The biggest crime committed in sports this year happened in American college football. Somehow FIFA didn't get that. It was American college football. Uh, Thick Marin, not so much anymore because they are now able to make money off their name, image, and likeness. It's not perfect. It's far from it, but it's infinitely better. Um, 55th in strength of schedule, not in adjusted strength of schedule. There is, and I'm not kidding, zero metrics, literally zero other than, ah, oh, we just don't think they're as good now. Zero metrics. So what happened? What happened is, in college American football, because there are 133, 133 teams, I'm going to get through this team talk. I'm assuming we're going to win this comfortably, right? We're up 2 nothing. I'm making a very important argument here. In American college football, there are 133 teams. So they can't all play each other, which means at the end of the season, there is a four-team playoff to decide who the national champion is. The national champion, right? The, the, the winner of all the stuff. And there is a committee that decides who goes into it. There is a committee that decides who goes into it. Okay. And I want you guys to listen to these arguments. Very, oh, come on. That was a freaking banger. Immediately. Because I'm not kidding when there are zero arguments for Alabama that aren't just, ah, we think they're the better team. We probably don't want to play them because they're Alabama. So th they're the four teams, number one, Michigan, the you know, Michigan, they, Michigan won every game they played this year. They won their conference, which is kind of like the smaller leagues within the 133 teams. And so they're in number one, number two, Washington undefeated, won their conference, good football team. And then there were essentially three teams for the last two spots, except there really weren't. This was the easiest decision of all time.
This is the easiest decision ever because you might have noticed a theme between the first two teams on this list. Undefeated, won their major conference. That's it. There is one other team in the country that meets that requirement. Uh, that meets that requirement. I promise this isn't the only part of my argument. You might think I know soccer, and I do, right? I know football. I, I, I love it. I enjoy it. I might not know it as well as some of you, but, you know, I, I make documentary videos and about all this stuff, right? My college football knowledge, on the same level. So I promise you're going to regret whatever you put in the chat before I'm done with this. Because... There's only one team left in the country that meets that requirement. There's only one team left that meets that requirement. Thank you, Neo. That would be Florida State. Florida State meets that requirement. They won every game they played. They won every game they played. They won their conference. And yet, Florida State did not even get put in the playoff by the committee. They did not. FSU had a weak schedule. They did. Okay, sorry. No, I'm, I'm making these arguments in, in order. And I promise I will address your ill-founded concerns that are, you know, that are fed by people on Twitter that have literally no idea what they're talking about. Because they don't look at the numbers, and it's like this giant echo chamber on the internet where people, you know, try and, like, convince themselves that they're right. Literally no idea what they're talking about. None. Cannot stress that enough. If you think football Twitter is uneducated, American college football Twitter is like, it's like a kindergarten classroom. You're just trying to get people not to draw with the crayon on their forehead. All right. So the third team in the playoff is Texas. Now, Texas, I believe, should be in. They should be behind Florida State, but they should be in. Texas went 12-1. and one. They only lost one game. They lost it to their rival in Oklahoma. They've got the second best win, maybe the best win all season away against Alabama, Texas should be in because they beat Alabama and then they won their conference and they only lost one game. And they they had some good wins, right? The issue for Texas is that they were unconvincing in their other wins. Their margin of victory was not particularly convincing, but they did enough. And then the last team is Alabama. Alabama got put in the fourth spot ahead of Florida State. Alabama lost at home to the Texas team, so there's no way they could have been ahead of them. But Alabama won on the final day of the season in the SEC championship game. Now, this is important because the SEC is the biggest conference in American college football. It's won the title six of the last seven years. Now, that apparently has given the SEC a birthright to get a team into the playoff for literally no reason at all. Let me illustrate that for you. Alabama beat Georgia. Georgia was the number one team in the country and undefeated in the SEC championship game. That's great. Now, the argument they made for Alabama making the playoff ahead of Florida State is the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. Because Florida State, and if you know nothing about American football, you do know this. Florida State had a quarterback that got hurt. And you know that's bad. Because the quarterback is the most important player in American football. They touch the ball on every offensive play, right? And they just generally decide, you know, how good your team is going to be. So Florida State's quarterback's leg snaps in half like a toothpick with two weeks left in the season. Now, Florida State, after that injury, after the, after the quarterback gets hurt, has to play away against, now get this, an SEC team. Not only any SEC team, not Vanderbilt, right? Florida. Who, look, Florida wasn't at its best this year. I get that. But they also have a ton of talent, and it's a rivalry game at home. The atmosphere, even Kirk Herbstreet, that guy with copier printed on hair, said that it was one of the best environments he'd been in all year, and that dude calls the biggest games every week. And they went in there with a backup quarterback who got hurt and then they had a third-string quarterback, and they still won the game. They won that game. And then they didn't just do that. Florida State, without their quarterback again, went to the ACC championship game against the 14th best football team in the country, Louisville. Now, I realize Louisville doesn't have a brand name like Georgia or LSU or Alabama. Don't worry, they're in Kentucky. 
They still sound like that, so their football's legitimate. That's apparently how it works. But Louisville had beaten Notre Dame. Louisville had beaten Clemson. Louisville had beaten Miami. These are teams with a ton of talent, teams that are good football teams. Louisville were, in fact, not cheeks. You guys remember when Notre Dame should have beaten Ohio State if it wasn't for them putting 10 people on the field against Ohio State in two consecutive goal line plays? You probably forgot about that. But that, that same Notre Dame team got clapped by Louisville. They got clapped by Louisville. They got handled. So Louisville, not a bad team. You know who beat them with a third-string quarterback in actually zero offense? Florida State beat them by two scores. What is Florida State's reward for this? They don't get into the playoff because they're not the same team without their quarterback. Now, I'll give you that. Now, here are some alternate scenarios. So, one, I th I'm sorry. I thought we rewarded accomplishments on the field. I'm, I, I thought we – what's the point of playing the game? Seriously, what is the point of playing the game? Can you imagine if in the Champions League, Galatasaray makes it ahead of Manchester United, but Galatasaray's starting striker gets hurt? No more Mauro Riccardi. And they go, ah, pfft. They didn't look good in that last game. They didn't dominate as much as we would have wanted. I know they won by multiple scores, but they didn't dominate. They didn't dominate as much as we wanted. And we're kind of worried that they're going to lose the next game. So we're going to put Manchester United in ahead of them because we think that the opposing team would rather play against Galatasaray instead of Manchester United. So we're going to put Manchester United in there. And if you think that argument sounds stupid, that is exactly what they said on live TV. The head of the college football playoff said that on live TV, that they have coaches in the playoff committee room, coaches in the playoff committee room, and they asked those coaches, who would you rather play? That's not the criteria. What is that question? Who would you rather play? Well, I'd rather play Liberty. I'd rather play the local YMCA. That's the question that decides who gets into the playoff to determine the national champion? That's not it. You earn it. You earn it by playing games on the field. And people go, well, Alabama's better. They're not. Alabama's not. Alabama played Auburn two weeks ago. Auburn, you might not have heard of them. They lost to New Mexico State by 21 at home three weeks ago. Auburn. Lost to New Mexico State. New Mexico State went 40 years without making a bowl game. Their starting quarterback is literally a wrestler. No shame on him. That dude's awesome. Pavia is freaking cool. But Auburn lost to New Mexico State by 21 at home. Now, Alabama's their rivalry, but I'm sorry. Even Florida isn't losing to New Mexico State by 21 at home. Alabama, however, with their starting quarterback, shows up at Auburn and should have lost. They didn't, and I give them credit for winning the game, but I'm sorry, I thought we were scoring this based off style points. I thought that this was the scary team that nobody wanted to play because Auburn was winning with five seconds left against Alabama. Auburn was winning the game. You know who wasn't losing with five seconds left? You know who won comfortably in the end against Florida? A much better team than Auburn? Much better is probably a stretch, but a team that didn't lose to New Mexico State by 21? Florida State with a third-string quarterback who's 18 years old. Florida State. One week later, more recently. But then Alabama hits a Hail Mary, right? They hit like fourth down and 31 yards away from the end zone. They chuck it into the corner of the end zone. It's an awesome play. Congrats to them for winning. But apparently winning isn't the criteria anymore. Style points are the criteria. And if style points are the criteria, why are we rewarding a team that only beat USF 17-3? to USF 
USF hadn't made a bowl game in a, like a freaking century. That's not true, but it had been at least seven or eight years. USF's coach had won three games in the last three years, and it took a late touchdown for Alabama to beat USF. I'm sorry. I thought we were scoring style points. I thought we wanted the best teams. You know who only had one one-score game all year? Florida State. Florida State's schedule was weak. They played like the same number of ranked teams. Florida State played two SEC teams this year, and they weren't Vanderbilt. Florida State played LSU and blew them out and played Florida and beat them. Beat them solid. And they also, I don't know, guess we forgot this part, didn't lose. They didn't lose a game. They did not lose a game. Z hates Vandy. No, my dad actually went there. I, I, so I'm very educated on how bad Vanderbilt is. They didn't lose a game. It is ridiculous. There is no solid argument for it. And it makes me so angry. It makes me so angry that anybody ever affiliated with the college football playoff committee, I will literally refuse to associate with. Like, I, I couldn't even sit at a dinner table with them without being like, why did you ruin the sport? Why did you look like, why did you look at the sport and just decide to ruin it? Why did you ruin the sport? Like, that's it. And you know what? So you know what else is interesting? Florida State had a weak schedule. What conference did Florida State win? The ACC. What conference did Alabama win with one more loss? The SEC. You want to know what the ACC's record against the SEC was this year? The ACC played the SEC 10 times this year, cross-conference games. The ACC won six, the SEC won four. At least uh, it's six and four. But the SEC is so big and scary because they get these great recruiting classes. Well, then win the games. If you're that good, don't lose to Texas by double digits at home with your starting quarterback. It's ridiculous. I have not heard a single good argument other than the fact that they went, eh, Alabama's scary. I don't think Michigan wants to play Alabama because Alabama's scary. They got really big offensive linemen and they're scary. Dude. FSU's got two first-round picks on their defense. Like, FSU is somehow these, like, chumps that suck. They're not. Ridiculous. Clown show. Absurd. Deserves to be called out from every rooftop ever. I feel so bad for FSU. They should sue. They should be able to do something. They should leave. They should, they, like, if they make the playoff next year, they should just not go and embarrass the playoff committee. An absolute joke and a crime. A crime against the sport. A crime. A bunch of old geriatric losers that have no, that overthought it, have absolutely no idea what they're doing and ruin the sport. They got scared because TCU showed up and got blown out last year. And I'm like, okay, if you don't want another TCU, then beat them because TCU played a semifinal against Jim Harbaugh in Michigan and he knew the signs of the other team and still lost. And then TCU goes to the final 62-7. to seven. Well, I got bad news for you. Georgia would have killed Michigan, too. Because last year, TCU was a team that, oh, wasn't supposed to be that good, but they won every game and got in. Well, they freaking beat Michigan. If you don't, if you, like, TCU didn't deserve to get blown out in the championship game, then beat them. They didn't lose a game all year. Nobody could beat them. They got put in the playoff, and they won against a team that everybody thought had all the talent and should have been able to win it this year. It's a joke. It's a joke. The whole point of sports is you win on the you, – you, you play the game. It, it's not like, – there's no beauty points on the scoreboard. You know what I mean? And they just, they just robbed that. They robbed everybody of that because Alabama's won a bunch of national titles in the past, and they could just look right past a, a really not super impressive Alabama resume. Like, they're, like, Alabama's resume is like, hey, by the way, we won the SEC. That's their resume. That's it. You know how many other teams have good wins? UVA's got a good win. We suck. 
University of Virginia beat UNC at UNC when UNC was a top 10 team. You know who didn't play a game that hard all year? Georgia. You know who Alabama's big win is against? Georgia. Sorry, I forgot the fact that Georgia's won the last two national championships affects their resume this year. I just delusional if he thinks Florida State had a tougher schedule. I'm not. The deeper analytics are actually with me on this one. The adjusted strength of schedule for Florida State, fourth in the country. Fourth. I'm not angry at you guys. I'm angry at the freaking college football playoff committee. Clip that and send it to them. I'll walk up to their door and say the same thing. But it, it's like when you intentionally ruin sports that I love, like really intentionally overthink it, overdo it, you overthought it. This was the simplest playoff ever to make. You had a decision to make between two teams, Texas and Alabama, and oh, you just got super lucky. They played this year and Texas won. That's it. That's it. Now, I, I, I honestly, if you like, you know me, I don't care about most things. I'm usually pretty laid back. But if you ruin a sport that I love, that's the last straw. Those are all the straws I've got. Every straw gone. Soiled. It's ridiculous. Florida, Florida State played two top half SEC teams out of conference, won the conference, didn't lose a game, played one game that they only won by one score, which Alabama, God, Alabama would have loved that. Alabama's out of conference games like the local YMCA, USF. Right. And I get they're in the SEC, but like, you, you like, It's so, it's so bad. It's so bad. There isn't one actual argument that makes any sense to me as to why they're in. Like people take the beginning of season strength of schedule ranking of 55th, and that's the number that keeps getting tossed around. And it's, it's just not. Get in, son. Florida State has one top 15 win. That's because they knocked the other teams out of the, like. So Florida State beat LSU, Louisville, Clemson. Those, all three of those teams are, I believe, in the college football playoff top 20. If not, they're all ranked. They play UNC. I don't know if they played UNC. I don't think they played UNC. If I relax, no, I will, I, I will never be relaxed about this. I will be jaded about that for the rest of my life. Like, it's a crime. It is infuriating. Clemson sucks. Clemson, unfortunately, as much as I would like for Clemson to suck, does not suck. Like, when you look at, so Clemson lost four games this year, but when you look at how close the games were and you're like, and that's, I mean, they're 22 in the rankings. Like, they, you know, it's obviously... Uh, I would love for Clemson to suck. I don't like Clemson. You know, I, I usually root against teams that win a lot. And Clemson wins a lot. And I don't like them. I literally have family members that went to the University of South Carolina. It's Clemson's biggest rival. But unfortunately, Clemson is still good. They just weren't amazing this year. The Duke game didn't feel like close. When they played Duke, I think they didn't have Riley. Yeah, Riley Leonard was already hurt. So I, I don't count the Duke game as like an above average win at all. It's not. Does next year's expansion solve the problem? Yes. Because I think it's insane that when you have a four-team tournament, you still could have a split national championship. Because now you know, you know what happens? If Florida State wins its bowl game, because you have these end-of-season like bowl games, it's kind of like a one-off cup match 
Um, and if Florida State wins its bowl game, well, guess what? It won a power conference and it's undefeated. It has a legitimate claim to the national title. Because that's how the national championship used to work. And that that legitimate claim will still be entirely present. And I thought the point of the playoff and the introduction of a playoff system was so that there would never be a split claim to a national title in a sport where there's 133 teams. They're expanding it to 12 next year, so this will never happen again. I'm just amazed at how bad, like how wrong they got it. It's, a, it's an absolute laughing stock. It's a joke. It makes a mockery of the entire sport. And I will not be silent. I will not be silent. Like I quite simply do not know what else FSU could have done. Like, like I, I don't know what else they could have done. Because if, if, if the criteria to be in the playoff is the four teams we think are the best, then the playoff is clearly Michigan, Texas, Alabama, Georgia. Because those are the four teams everybody seems to think are the best. But they didn't have the guts to do that. They did not have the guts to do that. But they wanted to make sure they got one SEC team in. So they came up with a lame duck reason, and they know they can get away with it because there's obviously no check on the system. And then it's over, and Florida State just is screwed. Dude, I'm going to be honest, the injury of one player in a team sport as large as American football should never have that kind of impact. Like if the one player was that important, they would have just lost to Florida or Louisville because Florida, decent team, underperforming with the talent they have, but top 20 team in terms of raw talent recruited. And then you have Louisville, who's actually a top 15 team. And is only not a top 15 team because they just got beat by Florida State. <laughs> they just got knocked out of the top 15. So that guy's just talking about number of top 15 wins. Bama's are Georgia, Missouri, and I don't remember who Bama's third top 15 win was. Is Tennessee back? In the, Tennessee's not back in the top 15. Who's their third? For the guy that was talking about the top 15 wins, who's their third one? It's Missouri and Georgia. Wait, it's LSU? Bro, come on. Oh, Ole Miss. Ole Miss. Ole Miss. Ole Miss. Ole Miss. So it's not, it's not Missouri? They have four then. They have four then. They have four. Although Georgia's always interesting. Georgia's, Georgia's schedule this year was uncomfortable. Georgia played like... Georgia didn't play much. But down the stretch of the season, they had they had like a couple ranked games in a row. Like teams are in the top 25. But if you look at like a one-loss Georgia team and you compare their resume to even like Ohio State, you're like, you know. They didn't play. Oh, they didn't. Really, they didn't play Mizzou? I, for some reason, I thought they, I guess that was Georgia. Georgia played Missouri. So I'm mixing the two up in my head. So it was three. It was LSU, Ole Miss, Georgia. Good win, boys. Thank you for dominating so that I could rant literally the entire time. Good win. I'm going to give an anti-complacency talk. Oh, I was like, did Mamelodi play? Amazulu played, and they won 4-2. A Mamelodi Sundown still have that match in hand. All right. That's good. We won the match. Let's friggin' go. We won the match, dude. That's what it's all about. That was a 90-minute game. Yeah, well, I mean, there was a very large, important rant that I needed to go on. Um, I, I, that I just needed to go on. I'm a big believer in, like, I, I'm a big believer in expressing your opinion, and then if somebody can prove that you're wrong, changing it. And so that was an opinion I really wanted to express because there were a large number of people that were kind of just like drinking the Kool-Aid 
because they just assume that Alabama is always playing the toughest schedule and that, you know, like the SEC is always far and away the best conference. I still think SEC is the best conference. I just think that gap was much narrower this year than it's been in past years. And I think that was clear by the out of conference records, you know, because that's really what sets the tone of like how good a conference is, because most of the year they just spend all that time playing each other. Frixmer, thank you for the two years. Yeah, but Alabama, and the funny thing is, I think Alabama is probably going to lose to Michigan, dude. I don't think Alabama is that good, right? Now, they might be able to eke a win against Michigan, but I, I think I think Michigan beats Alabama, and I really hope they do, because if Alabama wins the national title, I think it's an illegitimate title. I think if Alabama wins the national title and Florida State wins their ball game, I would consider Florida State a more legitimate, like, champion. Um but like it's because Florida state's playing Georgia. So that would be another like big litmus test that Florida state would be passing at that point. Boot. Thank you for the prime brother. Yeah. Uh, Mi Mi Michigan cheated. Yeah. And their head coach got kicked off the sideline for three games, which is the punishment they judged to be fair for it. So why not consider Liberty for the playoff? Because why well, I, I know we're talking about strength of schedule here. When I tell you Liberty played actual YMCA teams, I don't think that's a far exaggeration. Liberty is playing Oregon because Liberty is undefeated. Liberty is a small college that is in the 133, and they are unbeaten. Liberty is unbeaten, but they play in a small conference. They play in um, the CUSA, I believe, and they won the CUSA. They are 12-0, and and they're going to play in a major... Um, yeah, yeah, but... So there, like I said, there's 133 teams. Do you know why I know that number? Because when they were doing the selection show and they talked about Liberty's strength of schedule, they said that Liberty's strength of schedule was 133rd out of 133 teams. So while Liberty is undefeated, they would have need to, they, they would have, like, if you put Florida in the schedule they played, Florida would be undefeated. If you put Auburn in the schedule they played, Auburn would be undefeated, right? Like, it was clear. Um, uh, they can claim an Addy if they win. Uh, it, they're not going to. So Liberty, because they are the best small conference team, gets to play in a major bowl game. So they're playing a team called Oregon. Now, Oregon has only lost two games, and both of them to her Washington, were to Washington, who's in the playoff and is undefeated. So Oregon, not only that, but Oregon's offense, like Oregon scores a lot, think... Um, Oh, I'm trying to think of a good example. Like, <laughs> like that Luis Suarez, Liverpool. Like teams that were out there scoring goals, right? Like they 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 score a lot, and so Oregon. I think the odds of Oregon beating Liberty seventy to nothing are higher than Liberty winning the game. I I, I legitimately believe that to be true. Um, like I, like, like if Liberty wins the game, they do have a claim to a national title. Nobody beat them, but I will actually sit like, I like Liberty's not going to win. <laughs> there is no chance. I don't care if they like, for some random reason, some dude on Liberty watches the stream and wants to try and send it to the team as motivation. You can, I don't think all the motivation in the world is going to make a difference. Liberty has no chance. It, it, as long as Bo Nix plays, if Bo Nix doesn't play, that's a quarterback of Oregon. Maybe it's different because you never quite know what you're getting with a backup quarterback. But like if Bo Nix plays, Liberty has an actual 0% chance of winning that game. Now, Oregon's going to put up like 80 points. Thoughts to the Warren, uh, Warrentine Darby in the third round of the FNK. I don't know what the Warrentine Darby is, uh, Cajun. I don't. Poor K, thank you for the nine months, dude. Thanks for supporting the channel in these rants. Gardner, thank you for the prime. Thanks for supporting the channel with Jeff Bezos money. Nick just did that too with the 18 months. We just had a second Twitch child, which I'm incredibly happy about. Uh, do you have a name picked out for your second Twitch child by chance? Because I, 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 I'm, I'm out of names. There's always a chance. Yeah, except for this. There's no chance. Liberty is going to lose 70 to nothing, and I will be here next week and going, yeah, told you. Or not next week. I mean, these games are like three weeks from now. Sunderland, Newcastle. Oh, that's awesome. I mean, it's not fair, right? But it's cool that they get to play. 
I didn't know that was the name of that Darby. I know it's a Dar. I, I know that's a Darby, a huge one. But um, that is that's awesome. They get to play. I feel bad for Sunderland because that is obviously unfair at this particular moment. Nico Moby got hurt in the reserve match. Poor guy can never stay fit. Joe, thank you for the 11 months, dude. One month away. So close. And de facto, thank you for 32 months supporting the stream. Maddie Zero, thank you for the 27 months. I appreciate you guys. Uh, thanks, thanks for liking, hanging out here. Enjoy the bacon. Enjoy the emotes. Ollie, thank you for the 13 months. <clears throat> oh, I freaking love this song. Uh, I, did, I just put a hurt guy out there, didn't I? Uh, that, Ollie. Spends $5 to allow us to, uh, to pay our editors. Maybe I'll even allow Gadget out of the basement now. Thinking about it. Huge trap game for Newcastle. Is it at Sunderland? Is it at the Stadium of Light? Ah, uh, it's the Stadium of Light! Tapella Morena's hurt, so please tell me that I'm not going to get in trouble for not playing him while he's hurt. There's normally that pop-up that goes, yeah, I'll give you a, a time extension because he's hurt, and I realize you can't play him in all these matches. Gary Jambo, thank you for the two years, brother. Look at all these subs right now. Wanek, thank you for the six months. Congrats on your silver bacon. Thanks for supporting the channel. Odds, thank you for the 10 months. Valeri, thank you for the four months. On and off for a year, zero Fox. You know, I really, I don't know if I can handle this yo-yo relationship we have, dude. Valeri, thank you for the four. I appreciate the prime. We just spent, uh, what was that, 15 more dollars, $20 of Jeff Bezos money right there? When did we move into first? Uh, we played one more game than Mamelodi Sundowns. We do have the Soweto Derby, though. Kaiser Chiefs away April 1st. Ha! It's April Fool's Day because Kaiser Chiefs are fools! Get it? It's... Yeah. Evening, champ. How is Trix? They're tricking. Trix are for kids, though. I wouldn't know. You know? That's what that commercial says. I need I need to get better cereal. What I'm missing in my life is like some good cereal. Like Trix and Captain Crunch and uh what else is there? Some Reese's puffs. Oh. Those used to rock my world. Some Reese's puffs. Coles Quendel, thank you so much for the uh, four months, brother. All four months have been Jeff Bezos' money. Well, congrats on spending $20. $20, right $20 right there at Jeff Bezos' money supporting the stream. Am new, making it $25. Thanks for your prime. Enjoy the bacon. Enjoy the emotes. I do appreciate it. I, I continue to say this because I, I don't know when it's actually going to come out. Um, I'm hoping, like, this weekend or, like, next Monday, the, the Faroe Islands video will come out. And we're on version three of it now, and I've been watching it, and it is freaking good. The best video we've ever done. Best piece of content I have ever done. And we're able to do stuff like that because of the subscriptions from, like, Sir Cell. Thank you so much for the Prime. Thank you for the $5 of Jeff Bezos' money. I really don't get American cereal. You wouldn't understand. It's just sugar with funny names. Funny names and food color. You have funny names, funny shapes, and food coloring. It's all just, it's all just sugar, man. It's like that uh, the meme with the um, astronauts. Like, so it's always been sugar. Always has been. Do you do Matty's tell wins Wonder Kid of the Year. Kobe Mine has been loaned out. All Seth Nippon's at seven. Who's this dude? I, I don't know who this dude is. Hector Fort. Sick. Different one, right? Different one, right? 
Or is it like a, it's not a son. No relation? Okay, that's what I meant by different one. Like, he's not, he's not, he's not an heir, you know, to the throne. How much money would he want? I actually don't mind having this guy. Yeah, he wants no money, so I'll just gladly keep him around. It's amazing how little money he wants. How much is this contract? It's 100K. Then we've got Timbaswane, Tulani, Serrero. So he's not good enough. Well, I guess he is getting slower at a rather alarming rate. We paid 600000 to bring him in this year, too. I don't normally make moves like that, but it made sense at the time. And we have a ton of, like, reserve players that we do not need to be paying. Like, we do not need a full reserve team. We are not so spoiled with cash to be in need of a full reserve team. And most of those guys are in that. Then we just have a couple of old guys like Timbazwane and guys that we side for free. I saw Ali Ahamada was in there, our goalkeeper, but I don't know if that's who we want to have. Seven games left. Stupid question? No, it's not at all. Go to scouting, where to view the loan list. You can go to scouting and just go to, like, players. And you probably want to add people that are interested in you in loan, but you don't need that. Clear it on the top right, and then there's just this, like, you can just do listed for loan. And then this is every player that's actively listed for loan that uh, you know exists. Because those are the players that you'll see in your search. If you're always wondering who you know exists, there's the... um. I don't even know where it is. I never click on this screen, but where is it? The knowledge uh, thing. World knowledge is average, but how do I see the globe? Oh, there is it. No, that's not it. Oh, there it is. World knowledge. It gives you a nice color coded, like areas of the world you have good knowledge of. It's hot. I was watching a YouTube video and clicked on the Twitch link. Good to see you're live for the first time. That is, that's some good luck right there. I think you should stick around. <laughs> Right. <clears throat> I Everybody's failing their coaching courses. I wouldn't fail mine if I got the chance. What's the next step in the journey? I honestly don't know. Because we only have a national A license. Like, we need to study three more licenses. We have net continental C, continental B, continental A. I thought this was going to be the type of club that we could study up on those, but they denied my ability to study a continental C, which is pretty low down, right? And we need to be getting our way to a continental pro license as a coach. As in that, you can't get the best jobs without a continental pro license. <sighs> All right. Soweto Derby on the road, Kaiser Chiefs. Let's take care of business today, boys. Let's take care of of business oh Ilya Shkurin okay thank goodness we didn't have Shkurin in the last match because he was on international duty which was dumb we don't have Serrero because he's suspended fair play um Goodman Mosele dang it I shouldn't have played him in that reserve match if he uh, oh he's only cleared for 45 anyways then it was a good idea to play him in that reserve match we just need we're gonna go Timba Zwane he's gonna be the attacking midfielder Saavedra Zungu just move my midfielders around and then I need Goodman, Masele. How's Shaka? He, I mean, composure's bad, but he has certain endearing qualities. He certainly can play defense. Is he better at that than Masalesa? He's certainly more athletic than Masalesa. Um, 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 we have Innocence, Maela, Sabia. I need some sort of right back guy. I'm going to go with Gregory Damons just in case. Okay. 
Team is set. Yeah. Biggest game of the year until the next one. Seven matches left this season. <sighs> Soweto Derby at Kaiser Chiefs. Oh, Grumpy, thank you for the two months. I appreciate you. We have a stream schedule Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday at 11 a.m. New York time. That's 4 p.m. London time. Usually off New York or London, people can figure out when, wherever they are in the world what time the streams are on. Uh, sometimes just because of you know, meetings run over or I'm answering emails or, you know, whatever. A million different things I'm doing throughout the day. The stream will start a little late. Today we started very late. Normally not the intention. Um, but usually I am a bit late. But the, the, the schedule is 11, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. Um, there's also, if you've joined the Discord, which I, I realize can be an intimidating step, but if you join the Discord, there's a schedule update section. So if I'm, nev if I'm streaming on different days or different times, that will be posted in the schedule update section. All right, boys. I'm going to give a relaxation talk. Say I have some faith in you. Go out there and take care of business. Showtime! Come on, lads. Come on. Hold on to that top of the table. Make Mamelody Sundowns chase us. Make him chase us. All right, we're in the black. They're in the yellow. Classic Soweto Derby. The biggest Derby match in all of South Africa. We've beaten them twice. They've beaten us once this year. So if we win this, we've also handled the uh, Soweto Derby. Oh, come on. Oh, come on! I'm just rocking him to sleep. Don't mind me. I'm just rocking him to sleep. Get in. Actually, no, we're in front of the away section. Come on, lads. Come on. All right, Kudamela. Kudamela. Rapu. Oh, Rapu. That's fine. Zungu. Back in. Shkurin. Oh, yeah. We're, look at that pressure. Just keeping a lid on it. Using our sweeper keeper to reset. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at Ali Ahamada. Ahamada, Ahamada, Ahamada. Oop, the pace. Yeah, that's 19 acceleration. You're not keeping up with that. Kudamela. Current emo already exists, brother. If you're the one that redeemed it, it, it was up the next stream. There is already a Shkurin emote. If Ilya Shkurin scores, you'll see a lot of it. The Sundowns are losing. Oh, baby. Get in! Goal! And it's a goal for both of the center backs of the Orlando Pirates. Olivier Verdun. Is Ver done with Kaiser Chiefs? Oh, he hit him with that. Uh, this is a big save by Ali Ahamada, or a big block by Olivier Verdun. Now, Maseko does not have much follow through, but he has scored a good number of goals. Maseko's a volume player because he's so good at getting by people with his dribble that he gets into good positions and then is able to, enough of the time, do something nice. But he's able to super consistently get into good positions because of his raw speed, his Olympic sprinter-type speed out there. All right, all right, all right. You guys are really uh, showing off. Shkurin doing a nice job of speeding him up. Oh, there it is. Dude, that's such a bad pass. That was a pretty good spot for us there, too. 
Saavedra just very, very, very wasteful. Oh, that is brilliant. Look at the hustle, Maseko. Oh, we're moving. We're moving quick. Ooh. He tried. He tried it. Oh, got to collapse here. Oh, nope. Oh, Verdun. We're good. We're good. We're good. We are good. We are so good. We are so okay. Keep working hard. This rivalry matters. We'll get our rewards. Yes, it does. Oh, that was a terrible miss by Verdun. He really dove in there and completely missed the ball. Obviously, just let the guy walk in on goal. But hey, he hit the post, you know. Not all of us can be winners. <laughs> oh my goodness, Mamelodi's losing 3-1. Look up here. Sundowns are down 3-1. Oh, who was it, Saavedra? Oh, I hate that. Goodman Maselli was cleared for 45. Hopefully, he's I love Saavedra. I do not want to be playing too many matches without Erwin Saavedra. Give me two to three weeks with a rolled ankle, please. This is not an easy schedule we're playing. Cape Town City was one of the, uh, the top seven teams in the league are just a different level than the rest of the league. And we're playing two of those back to back. Okay. Oh, Sabisi. Good block. Good work. Bangani Zungu understanding the assignment. We hold, we hold. Look at that, took a deflection. Yeah. Went into the crowd and they just shot it right into a giant group of people. You'd feel it the whole second half. We've lost an edge here. It's still those stupid throw-ins, man. It's still the corridor of death. There's no way it's not. It's literally just still the corridor of death. They never positioned somebody short to like go cover that. It's just that open cross every time. I don't go Sabia. I yeah, only have one window left. Maybe they're saying Ahamada should have come for that ball. I don't. I don't know. Okay. Well, I mean, I feel like that wasn't in the box, you know. But, you know, the box is more of an idea, right? I mean, it's, it, it, you know, it's more of an idea. I think we can all agree that, you know, the box is, um, I mean, I guess. Not to mention my guy gets to the ball first here, like very clearly. That that is that is that is a tough call. That is a tough call to make there. All right, we're gonna go Shkurin. 
I like Kermit here from Aseka. Give us a bit more quality doing that. Sabia's got the pace. We get Sabizi into an attacking uh, role here. Sabia. Okay. Uh, give pep talk. I trust you to make a difference. Let's go. Let's just be locked in now. Let's be locked in. Are those change. Oh, the oh, I had to. Con I clicked confirm the changes, but now I have the, the top right thing. Okay. Steely resolve is all that is required here. A steely resolve. It's not LaPasse's game. Glad he got rid of it. They're quite bad at set piece defense. We've been eating them alive. Oh, there's no obvious pass here, but the pass is done well. Come on, game's just getting started. We're just getting started. Game just started. Three, three. Let's go win it. Twenty minutes to win. Twenty minutes to win. Good man, Maselle. Fresh off the injury. These are those championship moments. You want to win a league? You got to win now. These are championship moments. All right, Inda and Verdun, I need you to be massive here. Inda and Verdun need to be massive. Oh, that's a tough header. I just don't want to give them an easy header. Especially with as bad as they seem to be in the air. All right, we do have, I do have a sub. This might be a bit of a weird sub to some, but I think that the only change we can make now that'll help us win is bringing in Keegan Dolly. He's anxious, but I think those heavy legs for Kudamela are not helping, and we need a lot of activity in that particular position. So Dolly, good. Goodman Masele, we wanted a through ball. It's not his game, though. Ah, uh, yeah. See, this is why we need the legs. This is why we need the legs. Bungani Zungu, La Passa, that's an, a wild ball. Oh, my goodness. Is that a shot? <laughs> Timbazwane, I appreciate the audacity, but that is... that is uh, The level of difficulty was quite high. That's why we need the fresh legs right there. Just keep it hectic. Keep it crazy in their half of the field here. Oh! Hit it! Oh, good, good idea by Sabia. Sub EC. Sub EC. Sub EC. Keegan Dolly. Bangani. Uh, Sub EC. Get it to Bangani. Get it to Zungu. Good. Now look inside. Yes. Zwane. One more. Wrong guy. <laughs> Dolly, La Passa, and it's in! Goal! Can you remember a match like this? It's 4-3, Orlando Pirates. Unbelievable scenes in Soweto. Boom! Uh, yeah, you know, I always had faith in the team. 
Always had faith in the team. We'd figure out a way to way to get back on top. What a turnout by Zakele Lapasa. Dude's been a bit of a dud all year. Gets the assist and the goal off the bench on the road in the Derby. In the middle of a title race. And there's no more perfect place for that header. I shouldn't have called the lines off. I'm going to bring the lines back up. Really hope it doesn't cost me off the kickoff, but we have, we're playing with more energy than they are right now. And I should have allowed us to stay aggressive on that. Good. Okay. That's good. Make the change now. Make the change in the way we're playing. Get that aggressive positioning so we can cut them off before they work the ball up the field. We don't want to, we're, you know, we're not built for the siege anyways. We play, we play higher than any. This is the highest I've ever played any tactic with any team. We've played it all year. Uh, yeah, good. We're designed to be on the front foot with our personnel and our athleticism. Uh, if you're going to make a mistake, make it up the field. I don't have a problem with that. Oh, there it is, Sabia. Use that pace. 15 acceleration pace. Good. Forced him to play that ball early. That's fine. That's fine. Would have preferred if that was his header like I thought it was, but. Rockets, thank you for the four months, dude. Thanks so much for supporting the channel, brother. Good goalkeeping. Looking for an Ederson type. Uh, that, that was not it, but we'll t no bring it down, Sabia. Oh yeah, there it is. We're just more athletic than the teams we're playing against. Squeeze them off the ball. It's our oh my goodness, Lapasa, Goodman, Maselle, back to Lapasa. He's off. Dang it. It's all right. This is wasting time. That really honestly did feel like a liver the like Liverpool this weekend. It was it was actually what we've just pulled off here in the derby. Yeah, he's a scary dude, ain't he? Cuz he's a physical freak. And so he gets mad with that long hair, you know. <laughs> oh boy. Feel like he's just gonna break out a couple of axes. Like you're watching an episode of Vikings. Let's go. Let's go. Schwapta, thank you for the 30 months. That is a long time supporting the channel. I really appreciate you. Uh, it, it, thank you to Maverick for the 10 months. I appreciate you as well. Ben, thank you for the 35 months. You're awesome. Lax, thank you so much for the prime and supporting the channel with Jeff Bezos money. LFG. That, oh, chat, chat chat that's a dub right there that is a big time win we now are top of the league no matter what because mamelody sundowns just that's their first loss of the year i don't think we Ooh. oof Dude popped his Achilles, Aaron Rodgers style. Yikes. Saavedra out for literally won't even be ready for the start of next season if we're here, if we're still here with the Achilles injury. Uh, <laughs> bad boy's like, I'm ready to go. Oh man. Nizako, thank you for the 32 months. Brother Irwin out for the year. A brutal, uh, a brutal way to go down. That just means Timba Swane is starting uh, for the rest of the year. Timba Swane is going to start as our attacking midfielder, and we're going to have Bengani Sungu and Talani Serrero along with him. That is the way, you know, that's the way it is, I believe. I believe. Okay, we did it. We won. Six matches left, chat. Six. 
And we are ahead on goal difference if Mamelodi Sundowns win their match in hand. But despite the unbelievable season Mamelodi Sundowns have had, they lost their first match of the year away to the Swallows. And that has allowed us to equal them on points if they win their match in hand. And we have the better goal difference because of the hectic, chaotic offensive style that we play. So we are, we are in, I mean, we play Mamelodi Sundowns still. There is a match against Mamelodi Sundowns left on this schedule that we will be playing that is going to be a, you know, clear out your calendar type match. Uh, it's the second to last match of the year. We play Amazulu before that as well. And Amazulu is, of course, the team that is um, right next to us. We've won 19 matches this season, which is already a club record for the top flight. I mean, there's, we've played 24 matches and won 19 of them. Like that is a, that is an incredible winning clip. My contract's two years, I believe. If we win the league, will I move on? I think. I don't know though, because we only have a national A. I don't know what jobs we'd be able to get that would be better than being at Orlando. You know, the being at one of the big three or four clubs in South Africa. You know selling out 90,000 seat stadiums for the Soweto Derby is a pretty sweet lifestyle we got going on while we try and get our badges. Bebbled Senior, thank you for the 22 months. <laughs> Appreciate it. Yeah, it's next man up. This is why we you know, we recruit in depth. We've got Tim Bizwane. He's 35 years old and coming back from an Achilles injury that he got playing for the Mamelodi Sundowns last year. They got rid of him because they thought his career was over. Well, he scored the equalizing goal in our a match against Mamelodi Sundowns in the first half of the year. And now he's going to be integral to the end part of the season. That's a real shame we don't have Saavedra, though. He's a heck of a player. He is a heck of a player. I mean, we're trying to just work our way to the top of the game is our goal. You know, Zeeland managing uh, freaking Real Madrid in no time. But I've never played in the African Champions League. I can't lie and... Uh, that is interesting. You know, it's potentially exciting. I've never managed in the African Champions League in all my football manager adventures. So, you know, maybe that's something we want to do. I, I mean, it just depends. Like, if you, you know, if somebody parachutes in with a really good offer, and I'm like, well, we got to take that. And then we take that, but... We'd have to prepare ourselves for a little more fixture congestion. Probably need a, le a few less geriatric dudes on the team, but I think the, the injection of cash we'd get from the board that seems very willing to spend if we break the seven-year hegemony. If we break the seven-year... Oh, that's not as good of a youth intake as they got last year, but it's not bad. Last year, they got like a freaking golden generation, which we've been with Lorenzo Shai and Bad Boy and Bengani Kamalo. All guys that we've incorporated into our first team team structure. Our goalkeeper down here. Yeah. Pakamani Budaleze. Always want to pick one up. And every, you know, youth situation, low determination now. If he's got a good mentality, I'll keep him. No. All right. That's it. How much does reputation, how much reputation does the South African League have? I mean, it's not top level, but it's not bad. Um, you know, I'd, I'd say it's probably like, I can look it up in a sec. I would guess that this is like managing in League One, not League All, but like the third division of England. But obviously, I'm developing a reputation within South Africa, which is why I was able to get the job at Orlando Pirates ahead of my what my reputation should have allowed me to get because I'd built a really nice reputation in South Africa by winning the second division with the Black Leopards. So that gave me a really that, that gave me a really good rep that we could kind of lean on. Did it did did it. Did. Do, 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 do. These guys need match sharpness and have been a bit of a disaster all year trying to get them going. It 
So we have Super Sport, then we have Stellenbosch away in the Ned Bank Cup quarterfinal. We have won the two domestic cups in South Africa already. The MTN Cup, which is a cup between the top eight teams from last season. The Tel Bank Cup, which is a cup between all of the teams in the top flight. We have won both of those cups. We also won the Be the Coach Challenge, which means a quintuple is on is in the cards. The curtain raiser, the Be the Coach Challenge, we also won. So we could this could just be a spectacularly special season for the boys in black. Are you removing leagues uh, along as the season passes? I might do that at some point, but honestly, not right now. I I think the speed the game is running at is very acceptable considering every almost every league in the game is playable the way we've set the database up. Giving us, you know, all sorts of options. Like, you know, we were either going to go here or Indonesia or the Croatian second division were the options that we were weighing. Uh, no, I checked the coaching badge thing a few days ago. We can't ask for another one. I like you keeping me on my toes, though, because I will inevitably forget to ask at some point. Uh, my best striker has all the attributes to be a top goal scorer, but is in a slump. Uh, what should I like to see what the problem is? I, uh, so there's one concern outside of a player just being in a slump is that their hidden attributes aren't good. Um, that, that is the main concern. So if you notice that they're nervous or anxious or not reacting well to intense team talks, try and treat them with kid gloves, you know, try and treat them with kid gloves so that you know, try and baby them a little bit more encouragement, less yelling, to see if they're okay. Oh, now we have a match in hand on Amazulu, who continue to win. This is an absolutely ridiculous title race. If we all win our matches in hand, we're all tied, and it's goal difference that separates the three teams. This is this is insane, dude. This is actually insane. No, I don't like the personality of those two players, so I'm not going to sign them. <sighs> My coaching stats are like eights, I think, and almost everything. It takes a while to load that home screen. What if I just made it an impromptu Pentagon? I don't know. I, I never was super attracted to the Pentagon challenge. Um, But, you know, if we, if we happen to win, I could get my lifetime Pentagon challenge done. <coughs> Did we win the Derby? Oh, yeah, we did. Oh, yeah, we did. So who do they play? Everybody, everybody looking. Oh, they've got a tougher match than we do. They've got Cape Town City. Mamelodi Sundowns. They're also, they're going to be feeling a lot of nerves because they've been top of the league like the whole year. And I realize they're not top of the league just because of matches in hand, but they're going to be feeling that. Amazulu and us are giving them absolutely no quarter. We're winning every game. Okay, Super Sport United, bottom half of the league team, which means this is a match we are expecting to drop a bit of a demolition on them. Um, Shega Fatso Mabasa, dude, how 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 could I possibly drop uh, Lapasa after what he just did? So I'm gonna, especially with an unsharp Shega Fatso Mabasa. So we're gonna build that up first. All right, everybody, everybody feeling match fit? Everybody feeling feisty today? Because I want us to play feisty. We're coming out attacking. We're at home. I want us to light the world on fire here. And we got our cup match away against Stellenbosch in a couple of days. And, uh, hit the I have faith in yous again. As they're starting to have an impact, which we love. Gold Shark, thank you so much for the prime. Thanks for supporting the channel. It means a lot. And I appreciate you spending $5 of Jeff Bezos money. I'll see you in the subsection of the Discord, my dude. Yeah, I do have a tired guy on the bench, but he's also my only right wing back sub. Uh, and, you know, he'd be okay to play 30, 45 minutes if we need him. Good guess by Zealand. Wait, is it actually? It's literally the same reputation as League One. What, two and a half stars? That would be my guess. It's two and a half or two. So, yeah, I, you know, I've, I've played a little football manager. So reputation-wise, it's like managing in League One. But there's more money in this league, and there's more fan interest. 
right? And so that also makes it more fun. And you're, you know, competing for Champions League in the top league of a country. And it's, it's, I'm having a really good time in South Africa. He was off, so this doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah, that was a terrible pass by that game. Hey, that's what our crazy pressure can do to you, though. We play as aggressive pressing. We play with a pressing forward, a star pressing forward, who sets the tone with his incredible physical ability. You know, and the athleticism that we have across the field is just awesome. Except for literally defensive midfield, but you can live with that if uh, everybody else is just a freak. Olivier Verdun, like the size and speed of our two center backs also allows our, our back line to be super high. This is nice. This is really pretty. Kudamela, Zungu, Shkurin. There's an obvious ball that somehow he didn't see to miss. Oh, look at the speed. Look at the... Everything but the goal. Everything but the goal. That's what I'm talking about with Maseko, though. Oh, Inda again. Oh, dang. That's what Maseko brings to the table. That's 19 acceleration, 18 pace at work with knock ball past opponents. Oi! That was Ilya. He doesn't make enough of an impact on corners. I think it's because Verdon and Inda are slightly better, and so they're like the focus. We have 84% possession, 15 minutes in. If he scored that free kick right after I said that, that would have been the best FM, the most quintessential FM clip of all time. And thank you. A little shaky there last game. Uh-oh. Uh, was he on? No, okay. Not as creative as I would have hoped in the first hour or half an hour. I mean, we've had a lot of the ball. We just have not been able to find a way to open them up. I mean, we have. It's always the wing. For us, the answer is always the wing. It's always the wing. The triangle with the our, our, our forward midfielders combining with the wings. That's the br oh wow. Let's go, Sabisi. Way to get back there. Way to reel him in. That's what I'm talking about with the athleticism. They timed that up perfectly, and we still shut it down. That's what I'm talking about. Just reeled him in like a fish on a line. Oh, we're not covering the corner at all. Nobody ever does. Again, Sabisi blocking that, and the guy was offside, and he still got there. We have not been great today. And the first, like, 15 minutes looked good, but we didn't hold it. It's very uncharacteristic of us to kind of fall downhill after a goalkeeper distribution play. And normally, we're at least able to knock the ball towards their goal, even if we don't win it. Come on, Shkurin. Again, just getting dominated on those. They just dribbled my entire team like a maniac. No, but the only good-looking chance they're getting is off our goalkeeper distribution. They're just dominating winning that second ball. So I'm going to make our goalkeeper distribution short so we can keep the ball. They're not pressing too high. This would be a huge time to score. Wrap. Oh, this is open. Please square it or a pin for him getting held there. Did he? Did he or did he not get held? Oh, let's go. Back to Rapu. Back to Rapu. Oh, my dude. You are so fast. How are you? 
Really terrible touches. All right. Kudamela. Serrero. Maseko. Yes. Maseko. Goodness. He's eating that guy alive over there. All right. A good hiding at halftime for my entire... Uh, yeah, Neo Rappa has been terrible. He's been getting bailed out by Maseko, who hasn't been able to do anything once he gets there. Ilya Shkurin hasn't existed. Thank you, Rappu. All right, let's go. I want a different energy amongst the lads here in the second half. The real malaise. We're just not creating a lot. Thank you. T 10 minutes. I was starting to get worried. No highlights for 10 minutes. Rapu. Oh, my goodness. Better from Neo Rapu. Responding to the team talk. One more. Man, these are some pretty looking little passing combinations we're putting together. Just got to actually get one into the net here. Rapu, Rapu. Good. Maseko, good. Sabizi, got to be wide, brother. You've got to be wide. Why is the kid? Why, why does that happen? Has anybody ever given me, like, has anybody ever actually been able to tell me why that happens? Why it just sticks up there? Um, all right, Goodman Maselli is going to come in for Swan A. Actually, I'm going to drop Zungu. Swane is moving over. Goodman Maselli is coming in for Talani Serrero because he that dude's got goals. He's got goals in his legs. So Goodman Maselli, Keegan Dolly, and Zakeli Lapesa, who had that amazing match out there last time. Uh, yeah, he's not it. Okay. You change something, then go out, and then go in and change it again? Okay. Try and log that into my brain. Come on. Rapu, take it to, take it to the end line. Oh, there it is! Goal! The Grim Reaper's here. We're here to steal another match. We dress in all black for a reason. The Grim Reaper is here. Goodman Maselle. He's a good man. He is a good man indeed. Indeed he is. Now let's actually steal it, shall we? Good man. Goal, goals off the bench from Goodman Maselle. He is one I mean he is one of the best goal scoring central midfielders I think I've ever had. 14 finishing randomly, and you can just tell. Olivier Verdon. Sungu. Oh, to Keegan Dolly. Just want to see him throw himself a little bit more up there. And I know he loves to cut in, but we're going we're gonna to nip that in the bud and stick him wide. Come on, boys, now, come on. All righty. Ooh, Zakele Lapasa. Good work advancing the ball there. Ozwane. Uh, best chance to score there is like a freaking pin or something. Ooh, I love this. Oh, look at this. Oh. Soft. This is big time now. These are crucial minutes. Zekele corner. That's fine. Oh, it's Verdun! It's Olivier Verdun! He scored again, and what a time for the big man from Benin! Come on. Come on. 
Freaking come on, dude. Who's tired? Nobody? Nobody's tired? We're good? Okay. Boom! Be the Grim Reaper. They think they've got it. What a Sergio Ramos S. Ketter from Olivier Verdon. The January signing delivering in the title run once again. Yeah, we're really starting to figure out our set pieces. They're a threat like every game. Good pass. He's the nervous one, so we got to make sure he connects the pass, and then we're going to be off and running. Neo Rapu. Rapu, just go to Zungu. Just go to Zungu. The pass was too slow. So easy. Fullback on defense, still feeling it. Dolly. Oh, Maselle. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, just got to pin him in for Sabizi to get back. What a player. Kosanathi Sabisi. Oh, nice pass. Timbiswane. You do not want to be this fullback right now. Get cooked. Oh, what a terrible header. Oh, Olern, thank you so much for the prime. Andreas Netter, thank you for the prime. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. Get there. Good. It means a lot. Hopefully we can bring home the win for you. Sungu. Yes. All that. If they were more aggressive defensively, we wouldn't have been able to make that pass, but they're not. Swan A. Dang it, Timba. The heck is that, dude? Oh, I love the commitment. He's certainly in. He's plugged in. You know, he's plugged into the game. Oh, my goodness, Inda with the coverage. Oh, and we're, this is a counter for us. Goodman, Maselle. La Passa. Come on, boys. We're playing. We're playing. We're freaking playing today. Sungu, Sabizi. Um, I do not want to put Moby in. Sabizi, you got it. I'm just going to take off uh, the dribble. Stay. I'm mean, gonna take both those off. You do what you do what you want to do. You're a good player. You're a good enough player to do that. Um, Osiles is a no. Neo Rapu not doing too hot, but he's also somehow in the 90th minute not tired. So Oh, and thank you for the 32 months, dude. I appreciate you. Thank you. <laughs> it's a long time, brother. Thanks for supporting the channel for 32 months. Knight, thank you for the prime. Tough time for a highlight. Let's just keep playing that good defense. Oh, yes. That's a good clearance, though. Unlucky that dude's standing there, able to get it right back in, but he struck that very firmly to get it out. Love the little fake Ahamada just threw into that. <laughs> get that defense out of position, man. Swan A. Uh, yep. Good man, Maselle. No rush here. No rush at all. Unless you're Bengani Zungu, apparently. Swan A. Maseko. Oh, my goodness hate the idea to shoot that, but he nearly scored it. Let's freaking go, dude. Excellent effort. We should have won that game by a lot more. Um, we, 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 we had really just like a 15 minute stretch where we were asleep the rest of the game. I thought we did really well. And all that matters at this point in the season is we showed up and we won the game. Mamelodi won as well. 
Uh, Amazula, of course, had won their game, so the three-horse race for the league title is still on and is hot as ever. We've got Amazulu away, so we are going to rotate almost fully for Stellenbosch. We do want to win this game, but Amazulu away is... Okay, so Bangani Zungu is suspended for Stellenbosch, which is awesome. But he's not going to miss... Um, he's not going to miss Amazulu. Because we could not be without him and Saavedra for that match. Yeah, things are things are heating up. The fun thing about that is uh, each uh, each each match you win, the more things just heat up. He's missing Amazulu. No, it says it should be all South African domestic competitions. God, I know they've got millions of lines of text in this game, but they really should write them better sometimes. Um, fair enough. We'll see which line of text is wrong. I'm assuming it's the one that I read. Because that was my, the, the line of text I read was less specific. And so more boilerplate. Less likely to be wrong. More likely to be wrong, I mean. Could be worse things. Hey, what's up? Kalele, how you doing? All right. Hi, Stellenbosch. How are the Leopards doing? They're fine. They're not going to get relegated. They're eight points clear of the drop with five matches left. Not even to the drop. They're 11 points clear of the drop. They're eight points clear of the playoff. So they've had a good year. All right, we can do this. This is a game we can win with the guys we're going to put on the field, he says to himself unknowingly. Wow, I think they should bring him back. Cool. We got the time extension for Morena's injury. <sighs> oh, they're like actually kind of okay, which is inter uh, interesting. I'm going to start Elias Guren. What is he training position-wise? Stupid. Um... All right, Zwane off. Masales is in. Um, Bangani Zungu is out for that match, so we might as well play him here. I'm going to do Masele to start and then Swane off the bench, and we're just going to do it by committee. Is what I'm thinking. Um, Nico Moby. Sabia. Uh, Maela and um, Dortley. That's fine. The wings, I, I feel mostly okay about. I'm going to go double inside forward here. Kermit, I needed to set this a while ago, but there you go. Inside forward, brother. There, Misele, Zungu, Dali, Erasmus, Mabasa, Masalesa, Sabia, Maela, Dortley, Moby, Ali Ahamada. Yeah, that's the stuff. Let's start Lapasa. No, 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 no. Shega Fatso makes a lot of sense in this situation. He's cleared for only 45 minutes, though. So he doesn't make all of the sense. He just makes some of the sense. Okay, cup quarterfinal. The Nedbank Cup. 
We're good. We're rotated. We're, we're as rotated as we're going to be. Well, let's ride into battle then, brothers. Completely different team, so I can run the I have faith in you, no problem. We've won the two big domestic cups already in South Africa. This is the last big domestic cup. And we are in the quarter. This is the South African FA Cup. And we are in the quarterfinal away to Stellenbosch. There's been a bit of a bogey team. We've lost and drawn, we've lost to and drawn them in the league. Which I believe makes them the only team outside of Mamelodi Sundowns that we haven't beat in the league, but we have crushed them in the MTN Cup semifinal. So this this being a cup match, surely we are going to be fine. There you go, Kermit. There you go, Kermit Erasmus. All right, Masalesa, come on, Masalesa. Ooh, that's a really good play. Look at the wing. Look at Kermit. He's busting his butt to get down there. Look at Kermit. Look at La Passa. Bonjour. I've entered the back of your net. Oh, it's Kermit Erasmus to Zakali La Passa. Yeah, it's Stellenbosch in the cup, so we're fine, clearly. Good man, Maselle. Innocent Smaela. Top five names of all time. Uh, Keegan Dolly. Sabia, the 19-year-old. Bungani Zungu, who's sadly missing the next match. Nice. Oh, there we go. Love that. Love that. Good cross, too. Gave him a chance at it. Gave him a chance at it. This is just a siege here. And Yiko Moby. Dolly. Maselle. Oh, nice. Oh, dude, that's goal scorer's touch and shoot there. Look at this. Uh, oh, bad giveaway. I was like, we just keep resetting and just launching forward into an attack again. That's not a bad. If you don't get a card for that, that's fine. Oh, that was a bad kick by uh, Ollie. Man's got 17 kicking. What is he doing with that dud? Oh, Masalesa with the nine pace on the move. Nice passing. Bungani Zungu. We uh, feel an extra feisty out there. We aren't quite as tall today. Dortley's kind of tall. Let's go to Dortley. Or Masalesa. You know, that works too. The first goal of the season for Lelonganolo Masalesa. The towering defensive midfielder from Innocent Smaela. Oh, he was skywalking on that one. Let's be, uh, let's be tidy about this now. Make sure we hang on to this. And just keep scoring. They've had a decent amount of the ball. They haven't had a decent amount of the ball in the highlights, but Nika Moby. And good God, how are you in the South African national team every time? You are so bad, and Nico. I'm trying. I'm I'm letting you play because clearly there's something about you that the national team coach values over most of my players. Even though you're my third string right back. My backup is hurt, so this is your moment to shine, and you go. Let Ungodolo Masalesa with an absolute dud. Oh, mine. Oh, we're fancy for like no reason. I love it. This will be a Kermit.
Sungu. Oh, what a goal! Oh, what a goal by Bungani Zungu. He will be missing the match against the Mamelodi Sundowns, but he's made his impact on this one. A clean strike. Tickling the fingertips of the goalkeeper, but he had no play there. And it's a Stellenbosch nightmare in the cup against the Orlando Pirates once again. Oh, that's so good. That's so good. Oh, my goodness. Where's that come from? From Keegan Dolly. The first time ball from Maselle. Keeper's not situated. Keegan Dolly spots it and scores just his third goal of the season from 30 yards away. And it's 4 0 at Stellenbosch in the Ned Bank Cup. It's an utter demolition and quite the display of quality from the Orlando Pirates against a team they have failed to beat two times of asking in the league this season. Granella, thank you for the two months, dude. Thank you for supporting the streams. Uh, Andy, thank you for the 15 months. Ukes, thank you for the 12 months. Not 11, 12. I hope you're still doing this and you're gray and old, dude. I can't imagine myself doing anything else. I sit here and I play video games. <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. Uh-oh. Well, he should not have closed that down. Not at that angle. It's made the wrong decision there. Woo, good block. Masalesa. It has paid off more than once that that dude is just large. Keegan Dolly, you're not that guy. You are not a fast one. This is the cup final? No, 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 no. This is the cup quarter final. This is the cup quarter final. We only have five league matches left this year, but we do have, uh, you know, if we're lucky, not if we're lucky, if we're able to play to our ability, we'll have, um, we'll have three cup matches left, including this one. And, you know, we jumped to a 4 nothing lead in 23 minutes, so I feel pretty comfortable. But... We were a little just bad on defense there. He's shooting it. Oh, thanks for surprising me. I appreciate it. Oh, oh, oh. And Yiko Moby with the first two decent looking plays I've ever seen. What a comeback for Yiko Moby. Yeah, we're chasing a quintuple here. Uh, we're tied top of the league right now, but we've there, there's two there's three large domestic trophies in South Africa, the MTN Cup, the Tel Bank Cup. We've won both of those, and then this is the Ned Bank, which is basically the FA Cup for South Africa, and this is the quarterfinal of that. Um, away to Stellenbosch, a winnable game, obviously. Our team's uh, main uni is uh, black. We're just rocking whatever this is for this game. The mustard. Subby up. Oh, good play by La Pasa, though. What about the league? We're tied top with two other teams. <laughs> There are three teams that are at 62 points if they win their matches in hand. We're at 62, Amazulu's at 62. The Sundowns are at 59, but they have a match in hand. So it's a three-team race that is as tight as possible. Oh, we have the goal difference advantage, though. We have the best goal difference. It's not particularly close. It's by, like, 13 or 12 or something. And so we should, you know, with five matches left, that should be a comfortable goal difference lead. You never know. What are the most number of trophies you've won in a single season? Definitely not more than five. <laughs> That's a lot of trophies. And then we, we won the season curtain-raising
tournament, which I don't know what it is. It's called Be the Coach Challenge. And apparently in real life, it's like a charity cup, basically, between Kaiser Chiefs and Orlando Pirates. But it's basically just a match between us and our biggest rival every year, and we won that. So we have won three trophies this year. That was lovely by Goodman Maselli. 5-1. This is a great performance. Really measured buildup. Erasmus quick thinking. Good. I mean, that's, I don't know how that's not an own goal. <laughs> no idea how that's not an own goal. Yeah, we play Amazulu and we play Mamelodi Sundowns in our last five matches. So things are about to get spicy. Both the teams we are tied with at the top of the league we play coming up. Uh, great work getting pressure on the goal. Stellenbosch have had absolute. This, this is the score we beat Stellenbosch by in the MTN Cup semifinal was 5-1. We did not beat this team in the league. How frustrating is that? We lost to them and drew them. And the draw was, and I believe I called it at the time, the greatest FMing I've ever suffered. It was savage. Brutal. Black Leopards are all right. They're eight points clear of the relegation playoff with five matches left. So they've had they've had a good season. They're like 22 points from 25, I think, which, in, you know, for the not big six or seven teams in South Africa is good. Do I have any thoughts about the college football playoff? Dude, I had a 20-minute rant earlier this stream about the college football playoff. It boils down to essentially there is no actual argument for putting Alabama ahead of Florida State. The only argument is that you're making a power ranking, but that's what, like, columnists on ESPN should be doing. Like, your job, if you're making a playoff to determine the national champion, is not to make a power ranking of who you think would win on a neutral field right now. You have to earn your way in. It was like 45 fair. It probably was. Probably was. All right, give me good, man. You got it. All right, that is the only substitution. That and, uh, sorry, that and Shega Fatso. The only substitutions I want to make. No, I'm not like we already we already went on the huge rant. I'm not dropping into it again. I just wanted to summarize my stance. Uh, gold, please don't. If you want to be proven wrong factually, repeatedly, then you can go watch the VOD. But if you wind me up again, it's going to take me like 30 minutes to cool down. Um, but... That is, while in past years, the statement you just said would be true, this year, uh, it's not. Uh, it's just not. That's it. <coughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Screenshots frozen? Yeah, I just noticed. What's the goal of the save? We started with no uh, playing badges or coaching experience, or coaching badges and playing experience, other way around. And um, And then, sorry, our goal is just to, like, see, to climb as high as we can, right? We've started as the worst possible coach you can be in the game. And through sheer talent and gumption, we are going to carry our team all the way to the top. Yeah, you guys got to let me know if the stream crashes, by the way, because my uh, stream computer is doing its best to fight through something. This is, like, the second time this has happened, where it, like, turns into a... PowerPoint. Not a fast one. I'm getting like a frame a minute on my stream PC, but the stream still works. Just the, the chat below doesn't work. 
So just let me know, because I have the chat on the other computer as well where I can see it and it's still updating. So just let me know if um, if it crashes, I, I, you know, well, I mean, you guys will let me know. That's, that's something you guys do well. If the stream crashes, you're usually on it. But that is a great win. I'm very happy we won that comfortably. Semifinals of the Ned Bank Cup will be joined by Amazulu, who have just gone and abused their opponent. Now, my, I don't know if the PC will crash. Uh, it just, it, it basically, like, I don't really know how to describe it. I've never seen a computer do it before, but it's, this is the second time it's happened in like two weeks where it just like, um, it just like locks up. Like it just, you know, it's no, nothing visual is updating and then it'll just like update once a minute and I'll see, you'll see that. That's it. I don't, I don't really know what's causing that. Although I did look up the issue where the disconnecting and reconnecting to uh, OBE or like to Twitch from OBS, that issue I believe I've been able to solve. I don't think that's going to happen anymore. So I got rid of one of the two issues. The other one's still here. Do -do 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 -do. Benny, thank you so much for the prime, brother. Is it overheating? I don't know. I mean, I've been using like the stream PC is really not that old. Just asking it to do too much. All right, my gold. I'm going to pull up stream elements on the other PC so I can see um, when people subscribe still, because I don't want to not be able to see that. So Storm Hunter, thank you for the 20 months, dude. And Benny, thank you so much for the prime. You're awesome. Guys, no pressure at all. It's just Amazulu. It's just the team we're tied with on points at the top of the league with five matches left. No pressure at all. Dude, Richards Bay is in the semifinal of the Ned Bank Cup. Can I draw them? Amazulu and Kaiser Chiefs are the other two teams. Can I play Richards Bay while the other two good teams duke it out, please? Please? New Premier League rights deal just got signed. Dude, it's over. Any parity between the top five leagues is over. The Premier League is the Super League now. $8.5 billion a year. And the Premier League doesn't share it with the rest of the pyramid, but they do share it with... Oh, my goodness. They do share it with themselves very equitably. So any team in the Premier League is going you know, to be able to outspend Real Madrid here pretty soon. Yeah. Any reason to use wireless over uh, wired, Head like headphones? This is the reason. That's the reason. Dude, I was saying, oh my god, because uh, Amazulu, dude, Amazulu also plays Mamelodi Sundowns. So the three, this is like an all-time title race that we're in, guys. This is an all-time title race. Because five matches left, I mean, six for Mamelodi. And we all play each other in the final five matches of the season. Like, that's kind of crazy. We all play each other in the final five matches of the season. I agree with that. I also agree with that. Knocking ball past opponents going to be a very common thing on our team because we are literally just athletes uh, at almost every position. So hmm. we're missing our two best midfielders for this game. <laughs> so if we, we come through and win this and we do our manage to win the league, remember that it was a complete team performance we were missing our two best midfielders in this match all right uh you're out of both those mr malinga you just take that contract mr siabonga malinga please get me richards bay please 
Please give me Richards Bay. Yes, we got Richards Bay and we're at home. Amazulu has to play Kaiser Chiefs. Ha, eat it. Richards Bay is in last place in the top league. So them being in the semifinal of the cup is a very welcome opportunity to do nothing. Uh, is how I would describe that. So that's readjusted our schedule a little bit. The cup final will be after the end of the season. So this is the last time we're going to get juggled into some fixture congestion here. Actually, can I train uh, attacking corners instead? Sorry. Apologizing to a video game here, but sorry. I, I want to train attacking corners. If we can work on that. Thanks. No continental sea yet. No. Um, bad boy, bad boy time for the semifinal. That could be. I mean, that, that is the type of match that absolutely could be a uh, bad boy o'clock. Lella mella bad boy. Lemma lella bad. That's lemma lella bad boy. You can understand how I'm still working on that. It does kind of sound like La Marana Cise. None of the, you know, Mamelodi didn't play. I guess they're playing tomorrow. They have a match in hand they're going to have to make up at some point, but Mamelodi Sundowns are also not in the Ned Bank Cup anymore. They got knocked out in the first round because they suck, but they, they'll they just play their makeup match when we're playing our cup semifinal. So they're not going to have any more fixture congestion than us. Us and Amazulu have the exact same layout. We have, we... Both have 20 wins, two draws, three losses, straight through. Exact same thing. Mamelodi, I think, is probably still in the African Champions League. Maybe they have more fixture congestion from that. I don't know. Uh, yeah, they're in, oh, they do have more fixture congestion. They're playing ES Tunis in the Champions League semifinal. Nice. Nice. Actually, do they? Or is there just this giant gap in the schedule? Oh, they don't have more fixture congestion. Because there's a freaking two and a half week break we're about to go through. <sighs> Whatever, dude. Whatever. That's all right. That'll get me to Pella Morena back, right? I like to Pella Morena. I felt like I was missing something without to Pella Morena and the team. You know, I did. All right, this is a big moment. Obviously. Shaka doesn't get a lot of looks, but he's the only midfielder we have left that can fill that spot. I don't have a forward I'd rather put up there instead of him because Moreno is still out with the injury. So this is your team. These are the brave Orlando Pirates going into this Amazulu match. Ali Ahamada, Kasanathi Sabisi, Olivier Verdun, Olisa Inda, Nia Rapu, Serrero Masele Zwane, Kurumela Maseko, Ilya Shkuren. 
who needs to get hot. Dude's been in bad form recently. And we are away against Amazulu, who have the exact same record as us in the league. 20 wins, two draws, three losses in 25 matches. Whew. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. I'm standing up for this. Would you mark down Holland or would you never? I mean, it depends. Um, I would never type mark Erling Holland because his movement is always better than the defender you're going to try and put on him. Um, I have sometimes elected to not type mark him ever and then just try to make sure that my two center backs don't get dragged out of position so they're kind of setting up a wall. If you are going to leave space for him to run into, you want to make sure you're aggressively closing down everybody that will be trying to distribute the ball to him over the top. But largely, he's one of the types of players that you just don't play a high line against. Are you guys friggin' ready for this? It's showtime. And so it all comes down to this. All right. <clears throat> They're in the green. We're in the mustard. Let's go win a magical game without our two best midfielders. How about it? Nice pass by Kudamela. Shkurin. Oh, I feel like maybe with that touch, he could have taken him for pace. I don't hate him setting up possession, but. Delani Serrero. Timba Zwane. Oh, that's an amazing ball by Zwane. Shkurin. Jeez. That is so bad. All right, all right. Come on, Sabizi. Kudumela. Swane. Dropping another dime. Look at Timba Zwane play. Oh, Neo Rapu. Rapu. Zwane. Zwane! Ay, 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 ay. Verdon. Off, off, off. How's he not offside? He's behind the last guy. You know, I, I know I'm new to this, but. Nice play. Steady as you want, Sabizi. Zwane, who has decided to be very good today, which has been awesome. His passing has been a revelation, as good as I've ever seen it from him. Swan A, you run, baby. Run, whistle that in. 
Amkise, Olivier Enda, Sorero, Verdon in the armband. I like where we're ending up. This is where we end up when we're better than the team we're playing against. Shkren! Oh! Shoot! Ah, uh, not now. Come on, Rapu. Inside. Come on, man. Come on, dude. Rapo. Ah, but uh. Sorry, we we've outplayed him up to that point. That's tough. We worked on defending corners in our match prep too, our match focus. So that's extra tough with that in mind. Once that ball gets anywhere near the next level, we got to be all over him. We're not all over him enough there. All right, we'll just look at it this way. They just got a really clear chance. That's when they should have scored the goal. Oh, they're down to 10 right now. Let's go. Thank you. Good. Kurumela. Moselle. Goodman Moselle. Sabizi, easy. Goodman. I'll get it inside! Come on! It's the 35 year old. It's Timber Swane who has scored. A bit of loose goalkeeping from Matwa. And it's 1-1 one, one at Amazulu. Oh. Ah. All right, time for everybody to dig in, give everything you got left tonight. We deserve to win this match, so let's go do it. I agree with that team talk. But it is, we, we were going to need to... Uh, I don't know if there's a way to fix what's going on with the stream thing. Um, while it's on. What are your tactics you best use for hashtag United's first season of Honor Rama National League South? Interesting question. That was asked a long time ago, but Grazer, uh... I think there was a bunch of people debating about that, but it depends on your players, and I don't know who's on hashtag would be my answer. I think a bunch of people already told you that. <sighs> okay. We've got 45 minutes. Potential title decider. I 
against Amazulu. We're just gonna we're gonna restart the stream right now. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna restart the stream right now. So we will be right back here in like one minute. We're back. Yeah, of course we're back. Sorry about that. I just wanted to make sure that, um, you know, we haven't said hi to YouTube or anything. And I want to make sure those YouTubeites were able to kind of interact with you guys and see you and that the sub stuff could go off and everything. Um, I just felt bad about it. So I literally just had to restart my computer. Took a little longer. You know, I'm sure it was sorting some things out, but we are in business. Um, and it's time for the second half. Yeah, but you know what we haven't said in a while. No, I know. I, I know it's not a stream elements problem. My computer turned into a slideshow after after we finished the stream today. I'm going to try and figure out why. For now, I just restarted the computer so that we could get rocking and rolling. Um, but my computer turned. I know it's not a stream elements issue. Is a my computer turned into a my stream computer turned into a slideshow. Hi YouTube. Hi YouTube. How you doing YouTube? See, now that they can see you again, you can say hi to them. Hi, YouTube. Welcome to the stream. I'm sorry you couldn't be here today, but we're glad you're watching. Subscribe to the Zealand Live channel. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. If you think I should leave YouTube if you, after this season or not, let me know in the, in the comments. These people that are here on the stream now will probably be there, too, to argue with you. And if you think I should leave, where do you think I should try to go? I read every like every comment on the live channel. So if you're, you're if you're around, <laughs> chat will have uh, chat will let their opinions be known on uh, where perhaps we should be. Why would you leave? I you know because we're just trying to get to the top of the game, but I also only have a national A license, so there's no like massive incentive for us to leave. Go for the African Champions League. I mean, it is there. I'm not, I'm not talking about going to YouTube. Uh, no, 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 no. I'm talking about in the save, dude. I'm talking about in the save. I'm not leaving YouTube. I'm not leaving Twitch. No, I'm, talk I'm talking about in the save, chat. What do, you, what, do you, what do you mean? I'm not, you know. Go to the tu uh, Tuvalu in second division. Is, is there actually a Tuvalu in second division? Yeah, I got a big offer from Mixer. You're right. That's where I'm going to go. I got a huge Mixer offer, and I'm just really excited about it. No, I said leaving comma YouTube, not leaving YouTube. I said, le yeah, I meant to there wasn't enough of a verbal comma there. There's supposed to be a verbal comma there. Yeah, boys, we're taking the Saudi deal. Woo! I'm excited. SoundCloud, a SoundCloud streamer. All right. It's been three and a half minutes since we got back online. I feel like everybody was able to make it back in. So we're starting the second half. <sighs> Put sure it's a big match hat back on because it is a big match. 45 minutes left at 1-1 for all the freaking marbles. Mamelody Sundowns are losing away to Kaiser Chiefs, but we have to play like we assume they're going to win. Now, kickoff's always a highlight on extended. That wasn't a highlight at all. This is, though. And it's an excellent tackle by Neo Rapu. No, no, no. It was 1 1. They scored first, and then we answered. It was 1 1. Oh, yo, 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 yo. Why are you basically standing at the same spot as the goalkeeper? Alisa Inda, good work. Get there. Oh, there's B teams for the top flight clubs in Tuvalu. Got it, got it. Okay. Drop it off. Come on. Come 
Come on. There's nothing obvious here. Oh, Kudumela! Chat spoke in Zealand has to leave YouTube. Awesome. Can't wait. We've been dominant in the momentum graph here in the second half, but it's not translating into like great highlights. The problem is the quality that we're normally bringing off the bench is not here i'm gonna go with keegan dolly to pick up actually i'm gonna leave kudamela in there a little bit more we're fit we're ready to go we don't need a change i'm gonna go into attacking and i'm gonna say you know encourage we've got the run of the game right now we're in control of the flow of the game we just need that highlight that's gonna win us this match away thank you kudamela how does he win so many headers at five four Oh my goodness, Zwane. How many big goals have we scored on corners? Verdun and Inda and Ilyash Curran. Who are we going to? Oh, you wanted Elisa Inda. It's all right. Their goalkeeper having the ball is usually a very good thing for us. Great touch by Rapu. Oh, come on now. With the quality. Right in front of you. Mm, that's okay. Kudamela is the more skillful winger, so he can play in possession a lot better than Maseko. This is where we want Maseko. Run, son. Run. Shoot it. Dang it, dude. It's a good save. You guys scrambling across the goal. Near side. He's on. Engineer, thank you so much for the 11 months, dude. I really appreciate you. Thank you for being a part of the Hammers. Thanks for supporting the stream. Now we're going to have some heavy legs. Now we need to make some changes. Zakele Lapasa is coming in. Kermit Erasmus is coming in. Keegan Dolly is coming in. Kozanathi Sabisi has somehow still got fresh legs. Both of our midfielders are still somehow feeling good. Uh, Neo Rapu, I am going to bring off for a simpler uh, Sinzilla Musa Sabia. Uh, Sabia has definitely been in good form recently. Let's see if those guys can make a difference. That's four changes. We've got one left for injuries or anything. That's I really didn't want to do that until late because we just don't have as much quality off the bench. But come on, boys. Come on. I'm going to go into very attacking for the last couple of minutes. We're going to up our uh, intensity, but I'm not going to go any more aggressive than making our fullbacks on attack. Oh, my goodness. Come on. Swane. La Pasta. They're all in there. They're starting to have to retreat. Uh, all right. That's still the highlight, though. Still the highlight. Let's go. 90th minute. Dolly. Dolly. <sighs> Come on. Come on. <laughs> Swan A. Wanted for Don. Don't hate it. Kermit. Kermit. It's still Kermit! It's Tampa Swane! <laughs> Kermit! Kermit! You beautiful man! You beautiful frog! Oh, what a play by 35-year-old Kermit Erasmus! Yes! Yes! Come on, dude. Oh! 
Let's freaking go! Wow, 90th minute, five matches left of the season. We're tied on points at the top of the league. And it's Aliza Inda with a 1-2 with Kermit Erasmus to Tim Bazwane, who could hardly miss from there. Dark Galactic, thank you for the three months, dude. Thanks for supporting the, uh, the stream, whatever this is. away against Amazulu with all the cards on the table. And I saw you guys saying it. Mamelodi almost lost, but they just drew, which means even with the matches in hand, we are top of the league with four matches left. Wow. Even with the matches in hand, we are top of the league with four matches left. Mamelodi Sundowns with a draw away to Kaiser Chiefs. Wow. Wow, what a 90th minute goal for Tim Bazwane, who has scored a truly impressive collection of important goals. New team record for highest point total with four matches left. We are having to earn this league right now. Val plays. Thank you for the six months. Thank you for supporting the stream. And enjoy your silver bacon. Oh, wow. That dude, he scored the 95th. What was it? When we played the Mamelodi Sundowns, it was Tim Bazwane that scored like the goal. Not in the telecom. It was here. 90. He scored in the. It was Tim Bazwane. It's always Tim Bazwane. 96th minute equalizer in our home match against the Mamelodi Sundowns. How important is that goal right now? I'll answer that for you. Very. It's very important. That goal is uh, all that stands between us and the oblivion of handing an eighth straight league to the Mamelodi Sundowns. Ah, the race for the coefficient spots. Don't think I care about that. All right, I'll ask for a coaching badge now. Maybe it's up. Might not be. I think we asked in January. Nope, still not there. The inevitabilities of life, death, taxes, and Timbazwane in the 90th minute. That's true. Timbazwane won seven in a row with the Mamelodi Sundowns. He was on the team for all seven of those titles. He is clearly the difference maker when it comes to who actually wins the title in South Africa. It was always Tim Bazwane. We signed him because they, re they released him because he tore his Achilles and then he played one reserve match for me and broke his hip, but I never lost faith. Eventually, Tim Bazwane has come good. And literally, I'm telling, like, I'm not kidding. His goals in the 90th minute against Mamelodi Sundowns and Amazulu alone are the reason we're on top of the league. He is the difference. It is Tim Bazwane. Pirates of the Caribbean theme when the league is sealed. Oh, I'm so there. Pirates for life with a number four in the salt life font. It's perfect. Okay, the good news is the cup semifinal isn't going to contribute to any fixture congestion. The bad news is that the last... Um, do we just have seven players get called up for South Africa? Kudumela, Mabasa, Maseko, Masele, Rapu, and Zakele Lapasa, my, my two backup strikers both just got called up to South Africa. That's kind of crazy. That is kind of nuts. This guy is right on the line of being good enough.
I don't know why they just have this giant break. Oh, there is an international break in here. Why? Just for South Africa? <laughs> like, like, why is there an international break in April? At the end of April? What an inconvenient and unnecessary time to have a, an international break. Against the national team, I mean, it's only been a year. It's basically the same that it's been before. Uh, but our, I, I, I'm, our club team definitely could handle the South African national team, I think. Some of the guys that he's been calling up are not th – that last call-up was the best one that he's had. He did a good job of calling up players that are, like, actually good for me. In Germany, I had an African player go on international break in April. I wonder if it's like some weird caveat to their qualifying schedule that they have to show up and play in April too. I don't know. Would I take the South African national team job over my current one? Uh, no, because I feel like that it wouldn't be as productive for building our career. It takes longer to land major success at the international level where if we're managing at the club level, you know, we're playing for tro five trophies this year, right? Like Neil, oh, 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 oh. thank you. <laughs> thank you for the prime dude. Appreciate you being a part of this elite online gaming community. Thanks for supporting the stream. Supple existence. Mon the pirates. Mon the pirates, mon. Am I sworn off international? Probably for a while. The whole fitness thing, not being able to control training. And they just like came in and patched a bunch of bugs for international play. And I'm like, wow, there were a lot of bugs in international play when this game came out, you know? And you're just like, okay, that's absurd. That's absolutely absurd. Master and Nikki, thank you for the prime. Scotty, thank you for the prime. Thanks for supporting the channel, y'all. I appreciate it. I'll see you in the subsection of the Discord. What's the most unrealistic thing in FM24? For me, Wonder Kid's coming from Saudi. I don't know what you're talking about, Lopez. I mean, I haven't managed an FM24 in a big league. Obviously, I'm just over here in South Africa, kind of on an island, basically. So I, I, I'm probably I'm nowhere near the best authority for like how the game plays, dealing with Saudi Arabia extensively. You know, Ten Hag being good. I think he's a good coach. Just a tough spot. Made myself a little sandwich for lunch. Gonna crush that now. Do, 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 do. Mmm. Compliments to the chef. Uh, international management would be fun if you had like a fully fleshed out set of player dynamics, like the same way you do at club level. Like if you had a dynamics section and you had all the different options, like, Hey, I didn't call you up this time. I just wanted to give some young players a chance, or I wanted to let you rest or whatever, you know, those sorts of types of conversations you would have in real life with, um, like national team players. Or like you bring in a young guy and you're like, hey, I want to give you a look this tournament or, hey, you're not going to be a part of the team yet, but I wanted to give you the experience of coming in and playing with the national team for this thing, you know. Shiza, two to three weeks, pulled an ab. Nice. But they don't have that. And then also being able to control training. Because I feel like that'd be pretty easy to put in the game because the guys aren't like the guys aren't training with their club teams and they're on international duty. I know because you like can't adjust what their training is. So you being able to control training with the national team, you can't do either of those things. I think if you do both of those things and then make the scouting and staff stuff make a little more sense, because right now it just does not, it's not intuitive at all. It doesn't make a lot of sense at all. Um, if you can do that, then international management would be really fun. Who doesn't want to manage in a World Cup? Like, it'd be freaking awesome. It's just you have to 
You know, you have to really, really know how to play FM and like the little levers and you have to have kind of done it before. You have to be willing to put up with more pain than a normal FM situation. Oh, that's just so huge that that just randomly happened. Tapella Maseko just trained the trait to run with the ball down the left. Now I'm going to try and train him to run with the ball often. But that is perfect. He's not. He's going to stop cutting inside. Whatever. Did he not have position? No, he does. There we go. Well, that's a wonderful trait because now he's going to keep the ball on his outside foot like the whole time that he's dribbling, and he's such a terror to try and contain anyways. Ollie Ken, thank you for the nine months. I appreciate you. A result of Amalulu, Sidwin. Sorry, it was a 2-1 win. We scored a 90th-minute winner. It was awesome. Screamer Shabalala retiring at the end of the year. Honestly, that might be the biggest contributing factor to me leaving if I do leave. Dude's good. If you're in your save and you're like, man, I want like a good ball playing center back. This guy's in the Peruvian league right now. Just saying. I have one head coach of the month for three straight months. So we got that going for us. Domisa, thank you for the 31 months. Appreciate you supporting the stream. That is, whew, that's great. But you're right. Not three years. Utterly pathetic. Utterly pathetic. Sorry, the TTS was accidentally muted there for a little bit. It's bad boy time. I don't know, Chad. If there was, let's say, a giant campaign in the chat to get Lemalella bad boy called up to the first team to play against Richards Bay in the cup semifinal, then that's something we might be able to indulge. You know, international duties ending. I think we'll need to rotate a few positions. If there was, hypothetically, a giant chat revolt to get Lelamella Bad Boy onto the field, the mercurial, explosive, scintillating 16-year-old youth team winger. Fox Lock, thank you. Kiag, thank you so much, dude. Welcome to the streams. Pound Sterling, 34 months. That is a lot. I really appreciate you supporting the stream for all that. You're awesome. Yeah, I don't know, Chad. I just, I expected to see more, you know, bad boy fanboying. I have to say that, you know, I don't, I don't know if it's enough. I don't know if it's enough bad boy fanboying to get him on the field against Richards Bay. I don't, I don't know if, uh. If I really see that burning passion from chat to try and get bad boy on the field. Lella mella bad boy. Lemma lella bad boy. If he doesn't play, we'll be sad boy. True. Surely it's enough. Do, 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 do. All right, Richards Bay. Will they or will they not be overwhelmed by the greatness of a Lemolella bad boy?
Big Dental, thank you for the 35 months. If the bad boy petition gets to 50 in the chat, then we'll do it. I've liked the energy that, you know, Lemolella bad boy brings to the fans in the stadium. If that bad boy petition gets to 50 in the chat, then we'll do it. Oh, no, it's getting blocked. What? Automod's blocking it. Oh, this is going to be a challenge. Automod is blocking it. It's going to be a challenge. Mods, you got to let it through. You got to let it through. The auto mod is catching the, uh, the, I don't know why. <laughs> they're fine. They're battling with auto mod. Can we figure out how to turn that off just for a second? J lab and Ollie scrambling around. It's at seven. I see a seven. You got a day. You guys have a day. I thought this was a democracy. You thought wrong. Ollie may be onto something. Just do it without the slash. Do it without the slash, chat. Get it to 50 without the slash. Oh, it's moving now. It's moving now. <laughs> it's moving. Can we get Level Ella Bad Boy onto the field for the Richards Bay match? We're basically halfway there already. Oh, we hit continue again, though. Oh, we continue again, though. We had 29. Oh, 30, 31. 32. 33. There goes Davis. 35. Oh, what are you? Look at that. It's, uh, it's match time. That's crazy how that happened. Oh, it's match time. Oh, let's, uh, so we're going to set our team. We've got our goalkeeper. We've got Sabisi, Verdun, Inda, Rapu. They're all good. Serrero, Guma Masele. TJ, thank you for the five gifted subs. Oh, you know, we got to take a second. We got to come down and get Bongani Zungu. We're going to have him play next to uh, Masele. Oh, there it is! Right as we get to the right wing spot. Right as we get there, Lemalella, bad boy. What's she going to do when he gets into the starting lineup? It's Lemalella, bad boy. The petition hit 50. Hundreds of people dragging the petition against the auto mod to 50. He's in. Right as I got to the right wing position, Shkurin, Maseko, we're ready. Let's go beat Richards Bay into the turf and get to the final. A miracle run by Richards Bay, the worst team in the top flight, to get to the semifinal of the South African FA Cup. This is a match we've got to be winning. I expect to see us in the cup final against either Amazulu or Kaiser Chiefs. And Lemalela Bad Boy is starting at right wing. It was said that there were parties in, you know, you know, when Argentina won the World Cup and you were, there was that dude filming, driving down the street and everybody floods out of the, oh, nice, offside. And everybody floods out onto the street. That was the same reaction when it was officially announced that Lemalela Bad Boy would be starting the cup semifinal today. Exact, I, weird how it was, it, it was eerily similar reaction. 
They announced that Lemalella Bad Boy would be in the lineup against Richards Bay, and everybody lost their mind. Nice. Shkaren. Way to battle. Oh, there you go, Olivier. Oh, play him. Oh, it was a good run by Shkurin. He was open. Zungu. Got to give Shkurin a chance to take a touch through the defense at some point. He's a high-quality player. Bring it back. Zungu. Oh, if he'd made one more pass to Maseko, that would have been sick. Because Maseko was wide open. It's just hard when you cut in on your right foot like that. He, you know, he... He's looking at everything else. He's looking at the cross. He's looking at the shot. You don't look at the pullback. <laughs> Thank you for the 100 bits, Valkyrie. That was good. Oh, okay. I'll take him. Take him to school. Oh, I'm a little bad boy. I mean, honestly, quite frankly, deserved the assist there. Absolutely cooking on the right wing. Deserved the assist. Just you know, cry and shame he missed that. If we had hit the target one time with one of these. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. They can't win a header. Hey, Bad Boy does have a player of the match uh, award in in the cup. He had a goal and an, and an assist the last time he took the field. Out and up. There you go. Out and up. Right in front of you. Pick your head up. Good, disgracious. And uh, I love Ali Ahamada, and he's always there for you when you need it. But you didn't need him there. Lemalella, bad boy. Uh, right where he wanted. Great wall pass there. Bad boy. Zungu! Man, if Zungu could just finish off these incredibly simple chances, these should be assists. You know, they should be. Masele. Oh, back to Serrero. Talani Serrero. Good man, Masele. I think that was going to bad boy. Oh, play him. Let the boy run. Look at bad boy. Oh, what a pass, dude. That actually, not joking, should have been in. Lemalella -lem -lem bad boy delivering the goods. Beats his man, whips across into Ilya Shkuren, who just can't score at all <laughs> right now. Oh, look at this. Lemalella -lem bad boy again. Cooking down the wing. Smart play. Nobody there to cross to. Zungu, one more pass. Rapu, very stupid. Very dumb. Um, uh, Sorero, you go wide to bad boy here. All right, Sorero, Zungu, little half space. And uh, it's all right. Make them defend. This is an annoying stretch of the match for them. 
There you go. There's that dribble down the left trait now. He's just going to get down that left flank. Serrero. Zungu! God, good save. Hey. Is that his name? Yes. That is his actual name. Lemalella Bad Boy is his actual name. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. What are his attributes? Um, bad influence. 20. Cool outfits, 20. Maseko. Boom! Tampa Maseko! And the goal! There's an African Cup semi final, and it is South African League leaders, Orlando Pirates, in front of relegation favorites, Richards Bay. Has a higher match rating than the guy that has a goal right now. Lemalella bad boy, actually a beast. He has never had under an eight in a match. He was man of the match in his first match, had a goal and assist in his second match, and now he's dropping a 7.8. Masele, yeah, yeah. Freaking go. This is a beautiful play. Serrero, guys stay up from the corner. Indaz there. Yeah, Richards Bay should be very happy they managed to make it to the semifinal of the cup. We're very happy that we drew them. And uh, we're taking care of the business we need to take care of, quite honestly. So is Lemalella Bad Boy. Where is he in here? Oh, he's on the edge. About to score 30 yards screamer on the rebound. Jamie, thank you for the 28 months, dude. Thanks for supporting the stream. I, I really appreciate it. Thanks for doing it with $5 of Jeff Bezos money. Ice T, thank you for the eight months. Goodman, 16 goals. Yeah, the guy's never been happy the whole time I've been here. And yet he still scores goals for fun. It's a wild dichotomy he has as a player. But Ice T, thank you for the eight months. We just spent ten dollars of Jeff Bezos money. I'd say that's job done right there. Yeah, Richards Bay is bad. We we absolutely blew them out when we played them in the league. They're uh they're on eleven points from twenty-five matches in the league right now. A goal would be wonderful for Ilya Shkurin's confidence. Because he was out those two months with injuries, and it just hasn't even felt like he's been he's even the same player. Because the dude scored a goal a match until he got hit with those two injuries. He's At least he's hustling. You see him all the way back there making a play. Serrero, well struck. Maseko. This is super pretty. Just missed that pass by an inch or two. Oh, so easy. Oh, come on, man. Don't want to give him that little window. Yo, Yam Jam. 
Thank you for gifting five subs, dude. You're awesome. You just made that. I really appreciate you supporting the channel with the five gifted. You just made five people's days. Benji, Wanmon, Arkaman, Hazar, Zanguini. You've got bacon. You've got emotes. And you need to say thanks. Don't, we don't forget our manners here. I see Zanguini literally already said thank you. Shout out for the, you know, that, those are the type of manners we want in the hammers, you know? With, with the, the, those are the type of manners we want. Well gifted, Yom Jim. Am I champion already? No, but we're close. There are four league matches left, and we are uh, top of the league by two points. And we are playing the team that is in second in uh, two matches, I think. Oh, and uh, this is a cup match. This is a Ned Bank Cup semifinal against the worst team in the league, which is a really nice draw. You always concede a goal. I think it's a betting scheme. <laughs> All right. How did he figure it out, guys? We're going to have to switch things up. No, come on. What are you talking about? Oh, get in. Goodman Marcelle can't stop scoring. Did I see the other score? No, I haven't looked. Uh, I'm going to get Bungani Zungu for Temba Zwane. And anybody else in the bench? I want to try and get sharp a little bit. Tabiza Kudamela. No, I, how could I? How could I take Lalamela bad boy off? TG, thank you for five. Dude, you already gifted five. Thank you for ten. That is very kind. Thank you for now ten gifted subs. Ibraka, e e e braka bra. Ferg, Alexander, Grilliam, Gherkins, and Don't Cordero. Welcome to the Hammers. Enjoy the bacon. Enjoy the emotes. And thank you for supporting the stream with five gifted subs, dude. Where's Mangani Kamalo? Uh, it was a cup semifinal against a top flight team. So I didn't feel comfortable in putting our four 16-year-olds in the field. But um, Bongani is on the east. He's not on the bench today either. Dude, bad boy's on a 7.9. Every time he touches the field, he's amazing. He's, he, look, he's got 20 determination, and he has a ton of pace. He just runs like a madman, and nobody wants to keep up with it. No goal or assist, and he's on an 8.1. Marcelle has two goals, and he's on an 8.4. Oh, yes. Oh, Skurin. Skurin stole the header from him. Ilya Skurin stole the header from him. Oh. I mean, I'm happy Skurin's able to get himself in form. But he... <laughs> the bad boy was winning that header and Skurin just flying through. Yeah, sorry, kid. I'm in a slump. Sorry, kid. I'm in a slump. I need this. <laughs> Sorry, kid. Okay, there you go. That's, that's what we were hoping for there. That's the type of performance we were hoping for. I mean, worst team in the league. You get them in the cup semifinal. You want to make it easy. You want to make it comfortable. And we did. We're going to the final. Dude, we're going to play. There have been so many Soweto derbies this year. I swear... Well, I've now played Kaiser Chiefs in all three cups. All four cups. We play in four cups that aren't the league this year, and I play Kaiser Chiefs in every single one of them. I'm playing them in the final. Uh, yet another Darby. Oh. oh. 82nd minute, they take the lead. Mamelodi Sundowns win their match in hand, and we are now at 65, 63, and 62 points. Because we just beat Amazulu. Yeah, there's the final. Please be at the end, like after the season. I don't know for sure, but yeah, okay, cool. It's a week after the end of the season, like all good cup finals should be. Like all good cup finals should be.
Skipper, thank you for the 11 months. I appreciate you. I am doing well. I am doing well. 20, we are 24 games unbeaten. Brother, we haven't lost since October 26th. I know there's a big winter break, but 24 competitive matches unbeaten. We're doing it big here. I'm in five cups. Yeah, well, I mean, like the final kind of FA Cup style cup should finish a week after the end of the season. That is how it should be. And it is, fortunately, how it works here. And you're still only two points clear. Yeah, I know this league is nuts, dude. You know who I feel bad for is Amazulu. Because this league has been won for seven straight years by Mamelody Sundowns. So you know they're supposed to be here. But Amazulu, I mean, I don't know if they've been... I guess they finished second four years ago. But, like, we're the club that's finished second three times. We were brought in to finally bring the team over the hump after we finished fifth last year. And then we got hired. But Amazulu have also never won the league. Orlando Pirates haven't won it since 2012. But Amazulu has never won. No, wait, 1973. They won it in 1973. Mahika, thank you for the 10 months. All right, guys, we got to grade the dad joke on an A to F scale. I'm going to go with a B minus. Why was that baby jalapeno shivering? He was a little chilly. No, that's a good that's a good dad joke. Use that one on your friends today. Courtesy of Mojica. Thank you for supporting the stream, my dude. Oh, sweet. I didn't know it was Cape Town Spurs. That's awesome. So wait, did it get jumbled up again? No, we just have straight fixture congestion for two weeks to end the year. That's sick. Golden Arrows, Cape Town, Mamelody Sundowns, and Sekukune United. Okay, this is the hardest match we have left that is not Mamelody Sundowns. Golden Arrows are Golden Arrows are in the top tier of clubs. Marco in had a, a brilliant youth league season. He just doesn't have a lot of potential. Sucks. So as a father of three, I give that a D. Well, you know, you have higher standards, more exacting standards. Uh, Richards Bay. There's still an opening. I mean, they're only three points out. Tux is the other team that got promoted outside of Black Leopards. They're the team that's in the playoff spot now. There's one automatic spot down, and then there's the uh, there's like a playoff where you go into a playoff with the second and third place team from the second division. Very interesting um, format. All right, this is going to get a little uncomfortable with the amount of rotation we're going to have to do. I don't like this. <sighs> We'll we'll find a way. Shout out to Bungani Kumalo. That improvement is awesome. A team from Tanzania is offering Ali Ahamada a new uh, contract for next season. What is this? What do I look like? Do I look like I don't want Ali Ahamada next year? I want Ali Ahamada for next year. I'm going to go ahead and sign him up for next year. He's getting contract offers from other clubs. No. 
Comorosis number one is also my number one. I want the world to know. Okay. Back to playing league matches. It's been like 28 in-game days. But in two weeks, there are four matches, and we will settle the league right here. And then we have a cup final where we will hopefully be going for the quintuple. It's the Orlando Pirates on 65, the Mamelodi Sundowns on 63, Amazulu FC on 62. And they still have to play each other, and I still have to play the Mamelodi Sundowns away. <laughs> Which, you know, looking forward to that. Going to be sick. Come on, man. We're going to go full first team today. We're going to rotate people we think are going to be more tired against Cape Town Spurs. And then we are going to um, get that full first team, obviously, on the field against... Uh... The Mamelodi Sundowns. Sorry, bad boy. You've been an impact player, but soon, soon you'll be playing at this level in these types of matches, I do believe. <sighs> Telepo Morena is back, so he's on the bench. Let's do it. Four league matches left. The quintuple on the line. An unbelievable near perfect season. The best season in the history of the club in our first year here is what could be on the cards. We just have to deliver. At home. Man, my fans really don't show up unless we're playing one of, unless we're playing the Mamelodi Sundowns or Kaiser Chiefs. This place is like 70% full, maybe. Less than that. It's all right. We make him care. Now, Lois, thank you for the prime. Appreciate you. Thanks for supporting the channel with $5 of Jeff Bezos money. Just another day at the office here. It's just another day at the office. Good. Good. Oh. Cross it. Well, their keeper got hurt. They just had to bring in their other goalkeeper. Let's go, Kudamela. Oh, Maselle. Sabizi. Yes! Dude, he is an absolute madman. He is a fullback on support. How does he end up here? You got a call backboard. Hey, we take that. You get into a position like that, it is hard to block. <gasps> I didn't realize today's the day. Amazulu and Mamelodi Sundowns are playing right now. 
The other two, the other two teams in the title race are playing right now. They're still level at nil. It's right above my head. Right at the top there, but they're playing right now. Is it actually a goalkeeper? Yeah, Justice Lodla, he is a goalkeeper. He's 17. He's just their backup. I just pulled him up off the bench. Wasn't really his fault. That shot just deflected off a dude right in front of him. Yeah, if they draw, that'd be massive. If they draw, that would give us a more than match cushion on both of them. As long as we win. We are up one nothing though. So the live table right now has us more than three points ahead of both of them. Come on. Get there. Yes. Sungu. Yo, that is so bad. Back Kosanati Sabisi to just go off out of a crowd of eight dudes. It's Kosanati Sabisi with a domineering header and a brace for the right back who has never been questioned in his starting role. Kosanati Sabisi. I always compliment his defending, but now all of a sudden he's a goal machine. Oh, I love that. Kudumela. Ah, that is such a high level of difficulty. Kudumela. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Mamelodi Sundowns is Mamelodi Sundowns is winning. They're up one nil on Amazulu. How dare they break the press? Oh, nice work by Rapu. Oh, good pass, Masele. Good hit. Harawade, thank you so much for the prime, dude. I appreciate you supporting the stream. Enjoy the bacon. Enjoy the emotes. Thanks for spending five dollars of Jeff Bezos' money. I saw Richards Bay is winning too. The team that's in last might be a very interesting relegation battle as well. Richards Bay are pulling themselves up. Meanwhile, this is exactly what we were looking for. Not an easy game. Golden Arrows sixth in the league, competing for African spots in the top four. Oh, uh, obviously foul, ref, come on. What is this? What is this? And Emazulu's at home too. The worst case scenario would be Mamelodi winning. Get there. Mamelodi winning would keep them just two points behind us. They did draw their last match, though, so they've been kind of choking. They lost away to Swallows, drew their last match. They're doing the opposite of choking today away against Amazulu. I've been staring at the iPad with the scores on it on the bench for five minutes, though. I'm going to make sure I'm watching enough of this game in case anything funky happens. That would classify. Oh, that's mine. That's off header. I think the guy that has the brace is the only player back on uh, free kicks. Oh, wow. He was not ready for that. He was not ready for that at all. Come on, Kudumela. 
Oh, yeah, yeah. All us, though. All right, we'll take that. Thanks for the year, Broad says. Hope you've been well, dude. Thanks for supporting the stream. You do that you do it with the Prime too? Love to see it. All right, we're gonna make subs. We're up two nothing. We gotta trust the bench here. We gotta trust them because they are going to come in and start the next match. Sorero's always tired. Elisa Inda is apparently tired. The Pella Morena, no. We we'll go with uh, Sinzilamusa Sabia, the 19 year old. Uh, 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 yeah, that's fine. That works. Got <laughs> dude zoned. I actually love that phrase. Man, that guy just got dude zoned. Swan 8, play it. We have a good possession. Just don't want to give them another one of those. Would be would be delightful. Cipiero jeans. Thank you for the year. It is. The streaming computer had a hiccup, so we had to restart the stream at one point. But the stream is going well. Shkaren, good. Kudamela, good. Good, Shkurin! Dude, Ilya, you got it. Come on, man. I need a little something. I need something, Ilya. You are a star striker. I need you to be that again. As much as I'd love to do this with my right back scoring two goals every game, I don't think we can count on that. Kudamela. Dalro rope in. Oh, nice pass, dude. Uh, that was saved. Heavy, thank you for the year. I appreciate you. Fisher, thank you for 17 months. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. Yeah, I could tell he was going short. Telegraph that, and he's off. Just, just all around terrible there from Innocent Maela. Give me Kermit. Going short again. Yep. He's off again. Dude, why? No, he's not, apparently. Oh, he kept it in. Good cross. Shkurin. Yo. 25 trials too many at once. Brother, earlier this year, I had more than 100. So I think you're okay. At least I didn't get in. Re I, I didn't get arrested by the UN Security Council, so I don't think you're. You know, I think you're fine. Oh, we're there. Keep. Uh, was the catch off the table? Oh my goodness. This would be wild, Kermit. Corner, cool, cool. I like a corner. I like a corner. Oh, turn that into a bit of a fist fight in front of the keeper. Oh, let's go, Masalessa. No, you're like six five, dude. Come on. What a pass. Holy smokes. What a pass from Sabia of all people. And we did nothing with it. That's fine. Dude, take that yellow card 100 times out of 100. 
There's a minute left in the match, and you're the backup ball-winning midfielder. That He understood the assignment. He completely understood the assignment. All right, Sabia, absolutely no reason to force anything weird here. So that was a little spicy, but he should just be blowing the whistle any time now. Let's freaking go, dude. Let's freaking go. Well done. <sighs> yeah, Mamelody Sundowns won. It's now a two-horse race. We beat Amazulu. Mamelody Sundowns beat Amazulu. We're six points ahead of Amazulu with two matches or three matches left. Mamelody Sundowns staying just two points off us. Next up, Cape Town Spurs at home. We're going to have to rotate a little bit because after this, we're going on a road trip to Mamelody Sundowns, which will essentially determine the league if we win our other two matches. I mean, Golden Arrows aren't bad. They're sixth in the league. That is, um, yeah, we've won, won 12 games in a row. Breaking all sorts of team records. We've already broken the unbeaten um, unbeaten matches record. We've broken the wins in a row record. We've broken the points and goals scored record for the club in a season. And we still have three matches left. Ali Ahamada signs a new one-year deal. Love that. Love that. All right. At home, Cape Town Spurs, who are in 14th. In normal circumstances, this would be an easy, breezy match. Oh, Richards Bay ended up blowing that lead and lost, I think. Oh, I feel terrible for them. Yeah, they did. They blew the lead. 75th and 80th minute goals. Tux is four points clear. Uh, Black Leopards, I think, are six points clear. Yeah, Black Leopards are okay. They're on 22 points. Tox is on 16. Two matches left. Uh, it would take utter catastrophe for Black Leopards to even end up in the playoff. Okay, everybody's fit. That is a little worrying. I'm going to start Dolly in this game. I'm going to start Timbazwane for good man Masele. I am going to start Morena, and I am going to start Sabia because it is a very intense position to be playing out there. And I am going to start Innocent Maela at center back. Guys, I'm, I'm putting guys in essentially that I trust to be good. And I'm going to start um, Zakele Lapasa is one of those guys that I believe I, I trust to be good. The new front three, Dali, Erasmus, Lapasa, I think is good enough. We've got the other guys on the bench if we need them. Yellow cards to watch are Rapu and Maseko. I really don't want to play those guys in this match if I can help it. But I'm going to leave them on the bench because you know winning the game is more important than um, them picking up a yellow. But it, when we put them in, we'll try and remember to uh, put them on tackle less just so that they're a little less likely to pick that card up. I want them to stay on their feet. But this is Yeah, this is what we got. Let's get this early. Let's take the lead early. Everybody's looking ahead to the match in four days against the Mamelody Sundowns. Let's just take this from them early. Three matches left. We're two points clear at the top of the league. I'm not going to do that. I'm saving it for the last two matches. 
So this is our last match without the I have faith in use. Whole seasons. Two years of coaching. We were able to get Black Leopards up to the top flight with a win in the second division. We got an unbelievable promotion to take over one of the big clubs in South Africa in just our second ever year as a manager. And we're looking to continue a 100% winning the league record by ending a seven-year reign of the Mamelodi Sundowns at the top of the league. We trialed like 300 dudes to build this team and spent every dime we have. Come on, Kermit, see the wing. Good. Morena. Oh, wow, there was so much space to attack that we didn't. So much space. Nice, Morena. Dolly. 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 Timbazwane. Ozuki! This is, this is lovely. And what a finish. Short hop, just pokes it into the corner. Buddy Funsters, thank you for the 11 months. Thanks for supporting the stream, dude. See you next year for, <laughs> next month for the year. The golden bacon is beckoning. Okay, drop it off, drop it, yep. Got to move it to the other side of the field. Or the striker gave up the pursuit. It's open. It's Dolly. Zungu. Zungu. Oh, what a goal! Oh, Bugatti Zungu! has decided that Orlando Pirates will win this match. It's his own executive decision. There's no saving that. Oh, that's nasty. That's, a f that's foul. Dolly, good touch. Swane, oh, what a goal. Oh, okay. So that's how it is. We're just, yeah, you know, we're cooking. We're barbecuing out there. Timbazwane, clean hit. We're barbecuing out there. You know what the advantage of this is? We can rotate. We're going to be looking maybe at even halftime subs for a couple guys. That's what we're looking at. Maela, innocent Maela. Olivier Verdon, Erasmus. Okay. Senzula Musa Sabia, feeling it. Zungu, why not? He's on a hat trick. Mamelodi Sundowns, as expected, up one nothing against Richards Bay. To update you on the other scores. Either a win for us or a win for Mamelodi Sundowns would officially eliminate um, Amazulu. I think a win for us eliminates Amazulu. A win for Mamelodi Sundowns basically elim yeah, eliminates Amazulu as well, I think, based off goal difference. Oh, no, bad boy's not on the bench. Oh, Zakele Lapasa. What? Now, what's happened there?
Gillum, thank you so much for 41 months, dude. I appreciate it. Do I feel my team is genuinely good? I mean, it depends on your definition of genuinely good. We did just have seven call-ups to the South African national team. So, I mean, in that sense, I feel like in terms of as good as you can be in this league, I feel like it would be a very, it'd be very, you know, I, I mean, it would be impossible to build a team that meets the league requirements that would be able to dominate us. You might, you probably can build a better one, right? But, you know, unless you're getting like messy in the foreign player spots, I think it would be impossible to build a team that could dominate us that's predominantly South African, you know? Isais, thank you so much for the prime and spending five dollars of Jeff Bezos money to support the stream. Oh, Kermit. Frogman. Respect the ribbit. Oh yes. Oh, it's Bugatti Suku. It's a hat trick. Of course it's a hat trick for Bungani Zungu in the first half. This is a champion's performance. It could have been a trap game. They play Mamelodi Sundowns in four days. But their finishing from the midfield has been absolutely sensational. Three goals for Mangani Zungu. One for Timber Swane. And Orlando Pirates are playing their absolute best football of the season. Erasmus. Hey, Westbrook, thank you, dude. Thank you for the <laughs> thank you for the five gifted subs, man. I appreciate it. Oh, we almost scored for you. But thank you for supporting the stream. Thank you for making five people's days. Lollipop, Skotow, Tyler, uh, Suji, and Vasco Alves. Welcome to the Hammers. Be sure to say thank you. Enjoy the bacon. See you in the subsection of the Discord. Zungu's on a 10. Holy smokes. Oh, Westbrook. Now you didn't have to do that. I appreciate it, though. Thanks for the five months. Five gifted for five months. Man, dude, you when you, when you reach 100 months, you're going to go bankrupt. <laughs> oh, God, subs. Subs? Well, actually... I was thinking about this. Most of the guys on my bench are actual starters. So, like, one change I want to make is getting Talani Serrero with Masalesa. But, like, there's literally no other sub I'd rather make. We're going to wait till 60 and then bring in Goodman Maselle for Bengani Zungu. We're going to bring in Elisa Inda for Olivier Verdun. But outside of that, that's it. Like, those are the changes we want to make. So, I, I didn't end up... All I'm saying is that while I didn't do what I said I was going to do, I didn't mess up super badly. <laughs> Dolly. Yeah, this is the definition of a storming game, though, you're in. This is just a st where we're just playing a blinder. Great time for it. Ah, oh, good. New contract, Ali Ahamada. Swan A. Oh, please. Freaking freak me out. You said my goalkeeper was carrying an injury. It's like, no, there's no way we're going to be without Ali Ahamada. He's the only goalkeeper we've ever known. Ooh, good hit by Dolly. Of course it is. Every shot we take looks like it's got gold dust flying off the back of it today. Oh, he was stressed. Amida was stressed, but I don't really care. I've never seen him get nervous. Just feeling a little stress. Maybe somebody's raiding his rust base. I don't know. Better safe than sorry here. 
Cut down on the turnovers by lowering the tempo. We're going to go from attacking to positive, so we're more positionally responsible defensively. It's just a soaring header on a corner, which not a bad time to give it up when you're up 4 nothing. but... Uh, just go for it, dude. Oh, good shot. Oh, what a pass by Dolly. What a shot. Well, the location sucked, but he made really good contact. All right, Inda. And um, who's the other? Oh, Zunga. We're getting Zunga. All right. For good man, Maselle. Mamelodi's winning 4 nothing. Amazulu's winning 3-1 on the road. They're right back to winning, but it's not good enough. They lost their two home matches against us in Mamelodi Sundowns. What a title race this is. Three truly spectacular teams. Two teams left standing after this week. Swan A. Oh, again! That was a great goal, but you keep saying my goalkeeper he wants to stay on, but injury is affecting him. Yeah, but it hasn't even popped up orange. Still, that is kind of freaking me out. I'll bring in uh, Budelese now that we're up four. What a freak. Dude, the goals we've scored in this game. Zungu and Timbazwane just like, we're like, hey, dude, do you want this to be a super easy match that you don't have to worry about at all here? We'll just, uh, <laughs> That's from like 27, 28 yards out. All right, Budelese, you're in goal, please. Hey, Budelese's fine. He's like a two and a half star rated guy. Decent shot stopper. Doesn't have any of, wait. Wait, okay, cool. I do have it set to go back to goalkeeper on defend. Good. How many games left? Uh, Two after this one. But it's the next match that everybody's had circled on their calendar for almost the entire season. And that is our match away against Mamelodi Sundowns, the team we lead by two points in the league. A match where heroes are made. And a match that in all likelihood will decide the league title. Because there is only one match day after it. Good man. Dolly. Dolly. He's done everything but score today. Yeah, enjoy the peace we feel beating up on relegation threatened Cape Town Spurs because there will be. Oh, oh, shut up. Dude's been out for a month. Where did that come from? Now, the reason this was able to go in is because the goalkeeper is still getting back from punching it. So there is a good amount of the goal available, but he just hit that perfectly. I mean, that is nuts. The goals we've scored in this game, the quality that's been oozing off of us this whole game. Just got to keep it rolling. We just got to roll it right into four days from now. We just have to keep it rolling. Oh, wow, we are, dude, the, the numbers, they just got up the field there. Do you see that? Look at the numbers. One, two, three, four, pressuring, like, pressuring the middle of the field right there. Three on one center back. I mean, this poor Sabia's got, like, Masales has got to drop down and help with that, but somebody in the midfield's got to be like, hey, maybe we should. That was crazy. And they had the pressure on the outside, too. I wonder if it was uh, probably a fullback. I thought that was going to go in, too.
Sí. We're doing the job, baby. We're doing the job. We're doing what we're supposed to do. We're doing what we need to do. We are, we are, we are. That was a good win for us. There we go. Two matches left. That's all that's between us and the league. Amazulu is officially out after their 3-2 win at Golden Arrows, which respect Amazulu had an amazing season. Kaiser Chiefs and Stellenbosch are absolutely dueling it out for the fourth spot to get into African continental play. Cape Town City has been eliminated from that. And then there's Golden Arrows and Swallows, and then there's the drop-off to everybody else. <sighs> Richards Bay is almost officially relegated. It's, oh, it was a stubbed finger. Somebody said, hey, it's a stubbed finger. That might have actually popped up on the left side. He'll be fine. He's completely fine for the next match. Don't need to rest anybody. We've been able to rotate perfectly. We're going to play a full first team against Mamelodi and then Seko Kune United. If we win this match, if we go to Mamelodi Sundowns and win, we've won the league. That is correct. If we go to Mamelodi Sundowns and win, we've won the league. Then let's do that. Let's not play around with any of the other scenarios, right? Let's do that. Let's go win. That would be the ultimate statement that we deserve to end their reign over this league. Because for too long, Mamelodi Sundowns have been the only team that mattered. They've been the only team for seven years. There's been one champion of South Africa for seven consecutive years. Yeah, the scenarios are pretty self-explanatory. If we win, we win the league. If we draw, then we have to at least draw the final match. And if we lose, they're a point ahead. Those are the scenarios. If we win, we win the league. And we would be doing it away to the team that has won seven consecutive South African championships. You wouldn't want to have it any other way. We're trying to end a dynasty today. We are trying to end a dynasty. And if you want to end a dynasty, you should have to earn it. And we have had the best season in the history of Orlando Pirates who have won the league like nine times. But this is the best season in terms of points and goals scored that we've ever had as a club. Team meeting. I'm proud of our achievements this season. Didn't mess it up. That's good. That is good. We did not mess up the team meeting. We had a generally positive reaction. I've regretted not doing that in the past because that does help ease some of the pressure that the players feel in a match like this. It does help ease some of the pressure. Big win for Stellenbosch in the chase for fourth. Um... Cape Town Spurs have clinched and not getting relegated. Black Leopards have basically clinched it because of goal difference, so they're fine. It's just Tux and Richards Bay left at the bottom of the table drama. Yeah, those meetings are always insanely tricky.
Let's get the team in. <sighs> Ali Ahamada. Kosanati Sabisi. Olivier Verdon. Elisa Inda. Neo Rapu. Talani Serrero. Goodman Masele. Bongani Zungu. Tabiso Kurumela. Talepo Maseko. Ilya Shkurin. Budalese, Maela, Morena, Sabia, Masalesa, Swane, Dali, Erasmus, La Pasa. That's the bench. This is it. This is the whole freaking season right here, chat. It's the whole season. shall rise in South Africa and then it shall fly the pirate colors but the fallen giants that we have taken charge of in just our second season be returned to their rightful perch at the top of the South African game And that this tremendous season, after taking over a club that finished fifth the season before, all done in your name, FM Gods, that it shall not be in vain, that it shall be to start a new age in South Africa and help complete the unbelievable quintuple. In the name of Mateo Mass, Owen van der Horst, Nick Makuti, And Eric Mendez, we pray Amen. 
Let's go win a league, shall we? Let's go win a league. Lord is back. Thank you for the 17 months, dude. Thanks for supporting the channel. Gabby's, thank you for the 10. Delbo, thank you for the five. This is what we do it for. We knew it was going to be hard. We knew it was going to be hard. That's why we took it on. That, we didn't have a lot of other options. We may or may not have gotten fired. Enjoy yourselves. I have faith in you. I have faith in you. I have faith in you. Let's go win a league, baby! Energy. We got to keep the energy in the press here. Goshkarin, Goshkarin, Goshkarin. Come on, good man. Good man, Masella. Yeah, it was unlucky. I know it was unlucky. We just got to keep going. We get goals. Just got to get them now. Nailed that team talk. Unlucky. Unlucky. We're unlucky. Go to attacking. No, no big changes needed. They're just doing a good job of keeping us away from the goal right now. We had a good amount of the ball. We're not getting beat a lot. They had that one prolonged possession early where they got all the way through our press, which hasn't really happened again. And then they have the set piece where they scored. There's not a lot in this.
Serrero. Oh, that's good. Neo Rapu. Good. You've got Maseko. Good. Yes, yes! Good. It's a good play. Overload on the left side. Good cross. Shkurin. Good show. One goal to win the league now. One goal to win the title. Zungu. Pagani. <sighs> a draw. We could still win the league on the final day. We would have a two-point lead on the final day. But if we score another goal, we win the league right now. One goal. Sub. I'm going to get good, man. I don't like the app. Well, I mean, I guess Timba Swane is apprehensive too, but I'll leave it. We'll leave everybody where they're at. Dolly's apprehensive. We'll leave it. Legs are okay right now. We're, 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 we are well rested. We had a big second half. I'm taking good man off and bringing in Timba. Shkurin just took a knock and we just got hit with a wave of exhaustion. All right, it's time. Uh, Zakele Lapasa, not Kermit. I'm going to go Keegan Dolly. They're just going to have to dig deep here. They're just going to have to dig deep. Rapper's having a good game. Uh... That's what we need. Masego's having a great game, or else I'd bring Kermit in. I see you. Masego's having a great game, though. <laughs> oh, there's no way they got two, dude. There is no way they got two deflected goals. All right. The way they're going to play now, we need Kermit or Asmus. Then we need Telepa Morena.
Uh, cut those guys in. Uh, yeah, that's what we got. That sucks, dude. All right, help it. You missed him, dude. That is bitter. That tastes really bitter. To drop two XG and score one goal. That tastes really bitter. Really bitter.
Damn. Yeah, sorry guys. That's that's a tough loss. That's a really tough loss. Um, you know, they scrapped a couple of goals and that that can be, you know, and when when the league is this close and when the you know we hadn't lost since October twenty sixth and we were still in that position. So um We'd beat him in the cups, but we drew him at home too, too. When we played him at our place, we knew that was going to be really difficult. Um, yeah, that sucked. We still have a chance. We just need Mamalodi to not win in their final match. Uh, we obviously have to win. Technically, we could draw and they could lose, but like, I, you know, I'm going to go ahead and try and win here, give ourselves the best chance. Um, I am going to do two strategic things. I'm going to start Timbaswane over Talani Serrero. Um, I don't want to give Talani Serrero or Kermit Erasmus the extra year. <laughs> uh, as funny as that sounds, I am thinking about that right now. Um, if the, either of those guys play, they play an extra year. So un unfortunately, um, I'm not interested in that, unfortunately for them. So... I would like to not do that. Uh, just wanted to go get bad boy. We actually need him based off of merit here because we're going to try and remove Erasmus and then have bad boy go into that spot. And then we need a, um, uh, we basically have a swing spot on our bench. I'm going to go Shega Fatso, Mabasa. Serrero, Masalesa is our midfield guys. Yep. All right, so no, uh, well, actually, no Serrero either. So we're going to go get Shaka. No Serrero, no uh, Erasmus, because we don't want to trigger their clauses where they play an extra year. Let's get our guys rest um, and go, you know, go win our last match and, and hope that we get stupid lucky. Let's go win our last match and hope we get stupid lucky. Damn. What a moment. Yeah, if we lose the league, I'm staying another year. I'm not, I'm not going down like that. If they got, I don't know. We'll see when we get into the game. Like, I don't know who deserved to get what from that match. I know we had more XG, but like... It's not like we were creating a pile of great chances either. The ball just has a mind of its own sometimes, and the ball chose to bounce for them. That happens. Well, that's actually very convenient, and Neo Rapu is also suspended for this match because of card accumulation. Talani Serrero sprained his knee, so that was the last match Talani Serrero was ever going to play for us because he's 35, and we're sending him away. Um... The good news is we've already guaranteed we'll be in the African Champions League, so we will be in the African Champions League next year. Mpalele has announced his decision to retire, which will save us money on a contract next year, which is nice. A lot of good stuff happening. Uh, this has happened to us once before, our first ever top league win with our Oriental Dragon FC. We went into the final match, and we were in third. We needed both Benfica and Porto to not win, and that actually happened. So this wouldn't be like the first time we've won the title on stream from something crazy. We could be in for a magic moment here, but obviously disappointed at what just happened. That can't go back and change it now. No, no, no. no. We don't do that. We don't do that in this house. Nothing wrong with doing that, but we don't do that in this house. Yeah, they're playing today. Everybody's playing today. Zakele Laposa gets the started striker because of that little tweaked injury to Ilya Shkurin. He is on the bench if we need to go to him. We're playing Seku Kune today. Let's just hit the I have faith in use and get ready to rock. We haven't lost a game since October. I mean... We've played 29 matches and we have 71 points. It's hard to ask for too much more from a team that I was able to scramble together at the beginning of the season after taking the job.
So remember, if they lose, a draw is good enough. If we win and they don't win, we win the league. We could still, you know, the, 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 there is a copy of the trophy here. The celebration could still be on. Their match is away. Oh, it's not easy. It's not an easy match. They're on the road against Golden Arrows, who's sixth in the league. That's better than them playing like Richards Bay or something. So be a good man, Maselle. He was also playing his final match. He's leaving end of contract. Good man. Good man. Chaotic Miza, thank you for the three months. Thank you for supporting the stream, dude. Jack Tranter, thank you for the two months. Medical Car, thank you for the gifted sub. You're awesome. Rebby Ju, thank you for the 26 months. I appreciate you guys. That's what I wanted. You know why? Oh, they already scored. How did they do? They literally scored before me. Are you serious? I was like, I want that so that I can look at the live league table and we're top, but they literally scored in the first minute. We can only play the game we're playing. Let's win. Respect to the boys going out there and playing the way they've played all season in tough circumstances. Loved the spirit of this team. Loud.
Out for a throw. Nice. Did you see it? Did you see it? I saw it. I saw it. We're back from the dead. It's back on, boys. It's back on. We're cooking 2-0. We're not absolutely roasting them. We're doing just fine. We're not giving them anything. We're playing well. We've kept our heads down, and we've been pushing into that good night, not knowing what awaits us. I saw it. I saw a little Golden Arrows goal right before halftime. Rap. 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 Okay. You're going to call that now? Dude's Flopasaurus Rexing all over the place. Oh. I might bring him I, did, I, I might bring him back next year dude he has been so good down the stretch now that he finally isn't hurt he's been so good that is a that is a banger he has been monumental down the stretch like fully monumental Yeah, screw it. Give me, give me Lelamella bad boy. Give me Lelamella bad boy as we try and polish this off here. Great hit by Tim Bizwane. My goodness. That's the pace. Like, the placement's really good. The pace on that shot. Hello. Okay, Lelamella bad boy. Lelamella bad boy! Oh my word, it's Lelamella bad boy! This 16 year old is special. He's very special. What a move by Lelamella bad boy! Instant impact inside six minutes. Goal! They scored. Oh, he scored that, dude. He scored that. I think Keegan's coming back next year. Might as well give him a run. Anybody else that's not coming back? Um, Masseless is probably not coming back. We give him some time. Give Morena some time. Oh, he had two goals from Golden Arrows in uh, 20 minutes, chat. Turned into a freaking party on the last day of the season. Did he give advantage? Where is he? I'm not even in the screen. Oh, there he is. He didn't give it. No, wait. He did give advantage. It was just super late. Fair enough. Good refereeing. Fair enough.
Oh, I want more. I won't be satisfied with any number of goals in this game. I want more. I want more. I want more. I want more goals. Yeah, we have a cup final against Kaiser Chiefs coming up. The uh, base, like the South African FA Cup final. We have that in a week against Kaiser Chiefs. I want more. I want more. Give me more. Not good enough. We need more. Only eight. Apparently, we need to be able to beat this team 10 to nothing next year. I want more. Come on, Shkren. To be fair to Shkren, he is the only guy that scored in the last match. So it's not like he's the guy to blame there. Nice pass. Square it. Or just score it. Goal! We're like unleashing the fury of a thousand suns in this game, dude. We are unleashing. Yeah, honestly, sure. I'll go into very attacking. We're unleashing the fury of everything that's just happened to us in this match. See, and going back to my earlier point <laughs> about the college football playoff. Just because we're able to beat this team nine to nothing does not mean that we deserve to win the league. Okay, thank you. First goal of the season. I love that. Oh, robbery. Give it to him. Save me on clean sheet bonuses. I think we're going to win. Ten. 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 Oh, 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 almost ten. The people want ten. You, I, we want ten. Give the people ten goals. Give the people ten goals. Just bang it. Just bang it in. This league's a joke. We're killing everybody next year. This league is a joke. I can't believe we didn't win it. We're killing everybody next year. We're already gonna win every. We're, we're already gonna win every trophy, dude. I want the. I, I want them all next year. I want all six trophies next year. I want them all. I want an unbeaten season. Is what I want. I don't want to lose a game. Every draw, I'll be frustrated. We shouldn't. We're good enough. And we're going to get better next year. We got a couple of old guys like Serrero that aren't going to be part of it, but we're going to be better next year. We'll be there. We will be there. Oh, <laughs> Dolly. Wow. You're going to finish second in the league. Do it while you're scoring 10 goals. Some, that's a statement. That's some style points. If you're, if you're, if you're going to finish second in the league brutally by one point, do it while you're scoring 10 goals.
Damn. What an off-the-chain headline that is. My assistant coach prefers Tim Bazwane to Neymar. Absolutely unhinged takes in the press conference right now. Tim Bazwane is going to be feeling good. Honestly, he's still a good enough passer. I'm bringing him back next year. Please tell me he's going to want less money, though. You got to tell me he's going to want he's going to he's going to want less money. Yeah, please. I take that. I don't think he will. Oh, he, he, okay. He's taking, he's willing to take a huge discount to come back and play next year. Well, then I'm willing to give it to him. He's getting paid 451,000 for this year. He's willing to take 151,000 for next year. He understands the assignment. He knows we got to come back and trash Mamelodi Sundowns next year. We have a cup final coming up. We're going to go take our anger out on them as well. I just want to look at something. The team we were coaching got 49 points last year. Dude, we got 74 points and didn't win the league. We won 24 of the 30 matches we played in the league this season. Amazulu is looking at the same thing. Like, dude, how did we finish third? They didn't even make the African Champions League and put up 71. Let's go win this cup. We literally will win the quadruple if we win this match in the Ned Bank Cup final. We will literally win the quadruple. We've won the Be the Coach Challenge, which is this curtain raising match against Kaiser Chiefs every year, which is eh. Um, we won the MTN Cup. We won the Tell Bank Cup, and now we're in the Ned Bank Cup final. Mamelodi could never win the quad. Thank you, I all for sixty-one months. I appreciate it. I, you know, I really do. Um, that is a lot. That is a long time, though. You awesome dude. I appreciate it. Um, one of the editors right there, I all. If you didn't know, and as the founder's badge, which means he was one of the first ten subscribers to the channel. An OG, if you will. Dude, two goals in the last match for Ilyas Curran to trigger a $34,000 clause to pay him. Love to see that. All right. And of course, this cup final is the uh, Soweto Derby. Oh, my God. They just gave me so much money. They just gave me, I had no like transfer budget left. They just gave me almost $3 million in transfer budget and raised my payroll a little bit too, from like nine to nine and a half million a year. We've got a war chest too. We've got a war chest. This is going to be a big off season. We're building a winner. We're building a team that can win six trophies next year. That's what we're doing. We're going for our fourth trophy of the year right here, but our goal is the league in the African champions. Our goal is to win everything. I think we can be the best team in Africa next year. We've got some great young pieces in place. We've got great foreign players from Verdun to, I mean, I, I didn't want to admit it at the time, but we were missing arguably our best midfielder. 
for the entire final month and a half of the season. Erwin Saavedra, you never know what kind of difference he could have made. He popped his Achilles like a month before the end of the year. So we're going to get him back at some point during the early part of next season. Uh, we're going to have him and Bengani Zungu to build off of in the midfield. Um, Timba's coming back. Uh, both of our wings, obviously, Maseko and... Good God, the 5-4 guy that scores a bunch of goals with his head. Shkurin's coming back. Napu is obviously going to be there. Our D uh, you know, Elise and, uh, and um, unless we find a really good South African center back, then we'll move one of our center backs, either Inda or Verdun. And then we have Sabizi at right back. We like Sabizi too. Vagalo Malidzi was on loan in the second division. Oh, Tux is going to get relegated back. Black Leopards did stay in um, in the top flight. Black Leopards did not get relegated. So we not only got them promoted, but they've managed to stay in the top flight as well, which is always really nice. 90 points. Yeah, dude. I mean, we only dropped 16 points all year. Um, we only dropped 16 points all year. But let's get, I mean, let's get 90 points next year. Screw it. All I needed to do was not have that ridiculous draw against Stellenbosch. I don't even want to look at that. I don't even want to look at that, dude. I don't even want to look at the stats. If we'd won this match, we would have won the league. I knew it was going to hurt if I looked. I knew it was going to hurt if I looked. We had over 4XG. They had one. It was a draw. <laughs> Well, let me rephrase that. They had one, and they had a penalty from a side free kick in a non-threatening position. So they had about 0.25 XG, 0.26 XG outside of a weak, soft pen. And we had 4.14 XG, and it was a draw. And if we won that match, we would have won the league. Those are the margins sometimes. Those are the margins yeah, I know we and we did miss a pen in that game, yeah. Hard to get through a season without a match like that in there somewhere, but that was actually the last match that we dropped points in. I was February 15th until May 21st when we lost to the Sundowns. The last match we dropped points in before that was Mamelodi Sundowns at home. It was a 2-2 draw. And then we we did lose at home to Kaiser Chiefs, which is a bit of a random one. And we lost away to Cape Town City, and we lost away to Stellenbosch, the same team that FM'd us at home. So it's tough, but, you know, we we have a chance to win four trophies this year. I would have shaken your hand off at the start of the season for that, but knowing how good our team was overall, it's hard to realize that we're not going to win the league this year. That is, that is, that is savage. A savage character building experience. Oh, this guy's good. Oswin Apolis goes on my good list. Great ball control. Oh, my guy's so versatile. Oh, he plays three different positions that we play in our system. That is awesome. Doesn't like big matches. Actually, we'll keep an eye on him, but we've got to remember that. Because he, we can't use him as a starter. We can't use him as a starter. We can use him as a bench player who plays matches that aren't big. But we can't use him as a starter. Got that. That's the situation. Can you imagine Perry just like... Turning up with a freaking libero in this league. It'd be really funny. This guy's a tremendous advancing center back, though. A little more South Africans here. Ethan Brooks, the midfielder. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I might get this guy as my ball winner. Or as my defensive midfielder and just have him run all over the place. Or there was that other guy that liked running, right? I liked Margeman. 
Not as much as the other guy that likes running. Not Neo Mama. Jesse down. Ooh, really like I might steal this guy from Super Sport. Jesse down. Technically very good defender. Works hard. Stamina's low, though. Stays back at all times, so he helps set the lid to everything. He's not a open up the play type passer, but he's a good athlete in the straight sprints. He can cover some ground. This guy's really versatile. Could be super useful with all the matches we're going to have to play this year. All right, what do we want to prep for this cup final? Transition, attacking corners, do defending free kicks. Those seem to have been chaos recently. I don't like working on pens. I want to work on stuff that's going to help us win before we get there. Well, that guy's not asking for a lot of money either. All right, what's the history of the Ned Bank? We won a... Wow, this is the same final as last year. It was Kaiser Chiefs against Orlando Pirates last year in the final. Third consecutive time the clubs made the final. All right. Oh, uh. Gotta win this, man. Gotta win this. Six players called up for international duty. Kudumela, that's it. Tabisa Kudumela, Rapu, Rapu Mabasa, and Yikobobi. Is his contract up the end of this year? Yes, mercifully. Awesome. He's getting paid way more than I'd want to. Verdun and oh yeah, Dean Hotto. I forgot that guy. We're gonna yeah, we're gonna get rid of a lot of riffraff that I had to figure out loans for and everything. Chris, thank you, for, thank you for the 13 months. I appreciate you supporting the channel and being part of the elite online gaming community. And Nix, same to you. You just watch the live channel, just here to give the subs since it's free and supports. Nix, that means a lot. Thank you. I'll see you on the live channel. <laughs> Come on. One more Soweto Derby win for the road, boys. One more. Oh, I know he doesn't like big matches, but... Oh, he's willing to take squad player. That's awesome. Goodman Masele. Please don't be obscene. This guy's wanted to leave the entire year, and now he wants to come back because of how well we've done this year. That is that is awesome. That is moving emotionally to me. I like good man. I like good man, Maselle. I've liked him all year. He's been scoring wall mad at me the entire year, dude. He's been scoring wall mad at me the entire year. And now he's willing to negotiate a contract. That's glorious. I love that. Oh, he doesn't like big matches either. <laughs> Why? I want to spend a foreign player spot on somebody that doesn't like big matches, so I give him uh, an offer. Zakalai Lapasa was kind of important this past year. Sorero, Erasmus. I'm going to set Sorero for leave. I'm going to set Talani Sorero for release i think we'll see he might if he takes a huge pay cut we could talk about it but he is incredibly expensive kermit i think his time has come i think kermit's time has come we're seeing a huge decrease in his ability and jigba and Palele is retiring tato kiba yeah it's time for you guys to seek greener pastures this entire like weird bench thing that we've had going on the whole year not been a lot of fun. 
Cam Carnell, I'm actually going to keep around. You want a pay raise? I, I don't want to give you a pay raise. I, in fact, want to give you... I'll give you exactly what you were making before. Okay. Sick. Ah, oh, Vugata Manidzi. How was the loan? Scored seven goals in 20 appearances at Maritzburg. Somebody. Uh, Lelonganolo Masales is definitely leaving. All these guys are leaving. They're just not very good and a waste of contract space. I don't care about the reserve team at all. So we'll let them go. And we've got... Oh, isn't Asani under... He's under contract till next year. Hopefully we can find a sale for him in the offseason. All right, let's play this cup final, baby. FA Cup. Well... The Ned Bank Cup, but it is the South African FA Cup. And it's the biggest derby in the country. The Soweto Derby. The biggest deal of deals. Ilya Shkren's fit. He's starting. Uh, we'll make sure it's the team. Ali Ahamada, Sabisi, Verdun, Inda. There was a suspension on Rapu in that last match, I remember. Rapu, Sabizi, Sungu, Masele, Swane, Kudumela, Maseko, Shkurin. This is our team. These are our dudes. We're riding into next year with a good amount of this core set. We've got Wonder Kids bringing up the rear like Bungani Kamalo and Malinga from the U19s. We're set. We're ready. In the name of Otzi Karlainen, Huang Shuran, David Bulo, and Rafael Riquero, we pray. Ramen. That's my prayer. All right. After that last experience, that's my prayer. All right. I'm a little jaded. Oh, it's a packed house, baby. Oh, that gets me going. It's a packed house for the Ned Bank Cup final, the South African FA Cup. The Soweto Derby, one of the premier matches of the year. The final match of the domestic South African footballing calendar and a chance for a domestic quadruple for Orlando Pirates, winning every domestic tournament except for the league. Bamos Orlando. Soweto is ours until further notice. We appreciate you. Sabizi's with him. It's good. 
Shapes right. Everybody counted for. Got to block that, and we did. Good defense there by Inda. Sub easy. Sub easy. Shkurin, what a turn! He said, I'm bigger than you. I'm stronger than you. I'm a giant Eastern European target forward, and I will score this goal! This is where you dust off that Shkurin emote that was getting all dusty earlier when he couldn't score. Because if we can get this Ilya Shkurin for the entire season next year, there's no 1-1 one -one with Stellenbosch, I'll tell you that. Buzz got my light ear. Buzz, Buzz light ear. The crimson chin, he's back. Get it out. Nice. Nice. If anything, it's a foul on the other guy. Inda was there so easily. That's never a pen. Inda was there so easily. I've never, I've seriously never seen a guy be given a pen for getting there that much earlier than the other player. Like, what is this? He beats him to the ball by a mile. That's fine, we'll score again. Yeah, why? Because we're better than they are. We'll score again. Get it to the midfield. Dude, Zoom, what, what is that pass? <laughs> Sub easy. Right after all that? Fair play. Oh, it's a great spot. Back post. Too high. Too floaty. Good header. Is that one pass from Sabisi? I don't know what. There's an app's just a dud of a pass by Sabisi. All right, Maseko. Arapu. Rapu for Sungu. Sungu. Swane. Masele. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right back to dominating the match. What a stupid blip. Nice, Celia. Way to play. Keep after it. Keep after him. Keep after it. Good. Good. Way to push him out. It's good stuff. Oh, yes, good spot. Very good spot. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Good. Rapu. Ah. Oh, we'll take that. Good work. Get in there.
Oh, that's good part. Yay, yay, yay. Nice play, Zungu. Oh. No, I don't. We, we, we have had a, we've come back from a lot of tough situations and matches this year. I don't think we're short on mentality a lot. Tepper Aquila, thank you for the seven months. Appreciate your support in the channel. I, oh, we, we, you know, we went down a lot early in matches and came back a lot. That would have been nuts. We've shown a lot of determination and gumption over the course of the season. I believe we'll show it again in this match. We've looked really good in response to their goal. I'm going to hit an unlucky. I have faith in you. Goodman doesn't care. Most of the team's motivated and ready to go out there and get the job done. So let's do that. Let's do that. I still feel, uh, I still feel good about us being able to get this game. We've looked great since their second goal. Maseko, great carry and just an automatic corner at the very least if he does that. It's just automatic. Come on, come on, come on. Top of the box. This will take a corridor of death throw in. Those are fun. There you go. There you go, Rappu. There you go, Swan A. Skirin! Oh, my goodness. Oh, there you go, Zungu. We're overcomplicating that. It's a simple play in this tactic to make. You don't have to pass it to the guy that's covered. This is not a requirement. There you go, Maselle. Good man, Maselle. Oh, he could have gone inside, brother. Maselle, Swane, look at the left wing, look at the left wing. They're all open. Kudumela, yes. Sabisi, Maselle. Come on! Freaking come on! Just walked that one in. Absolutely walked it in. Just shot it through the guy's legs. Just found a way to weasel that one in on goal. Hit an ankle, deflects in. Beautiful. Swane. Oh, good. Yes, Maseko. Yeah, better be. I have a sweeper keeper on attack. He better. He better be there. What is the point of a sweeper keeper on attack if he is not there? Okay, come on. Oh, that's ours? Yes, yes, yes. Swane. Shkurin, beautiful, right, oof. Come on. Right in front of our own fans, let's do it. Oh, Shkurin, oh. <sighs> Subs. Uh, Lala Mello bad boy, please. He's coming in for Debisa Kudamela, who's just had a bad game the whole time out there. He hadn't played well today. Uh, Rapu's not been playing well, so we're going to go reach for uh, Sins Lamusa Sabia. We're going to toss him on attack, just be a little more direct with it. He's not uh, as skilled as Neo Rapu, but he is as fast. Uh, guys coming in, do they feel good? Yeah, okay. I trust you to make a difference. Let's go. Let's go make a difference on this final. Swan A can score this. Come on, boys, stay on it. Stay on it. Stay on it. Stay on it. Every second, just stay on it. Great play out by Sabia. Timbazwane. Timbazwane. Still Timbazwane. Lullamella bad boy. Lullamella bad boy. <sighs> oh, 
Oh, there you go, Maselle. Way to fight for that. At least, at least we got to go in their way. You don't let them win that first ball. It's not normally the type of ball Goodman Maselle wins. Oh, my goodness. Good play. All right. Let's do this, guys. Let's go win the quadruple. Maselle. Lullamella bad boy. Oh, Sabisi. Zungu. 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 Shkarin. Oh, tough header. <sighs> Zungu. Inda. Verdon. Sabisi. Sabisi. Oh, the underlap. No, we had great numbers if he'd gotten that to bad boy, dude, but he crossed it. All right, we're going to go offensive. Give me Sabisi. Oh, he's got a 7.8, though. He's having, like, the game of his life. I'm not going to take him out. Um, I'm going to get Shkurin. He's retired. I'm going to go to Kelly LaPasa just for the explosiveness. Um... Okay. Let's go, LaPasa. Skurin already did his job. He put a ball in the net. Oh, we're there. Yes, Goodman Maselle. Great tackle. LaPasa keeps it moving. Fastest guy in the world, Maseko. More. More. doing Verdun stay locked in dude that was only a 0.11 xg play so it looked more dangerous than it was bad boy ah uh, yeah, yeah Sabia Sabia Sab mm, that's not it you gotta cross that all right Swan A for the South African FA Cup Do it again. Do it again. Verdon Inda. That's who we're looking for. The the two right there. Two big guys. Get there. Still us. Zungu. Lella Mella bad boy. I respect the audacity. This is for the title! Lala Mella Bad Boy has done it! Unbelievable! The 16 year old! Call him off! We've got to call him off now! It's one of the most unbelievable things I've ever seen. That 16-year-old in his first cup final has surely won the cup for Orlando Pirates. Uh, what? <laughs> what just happened? Lemolello bad boy with one of the most spectacular, unassuming, heroic plays you will ever see in the Soweto Derby. With seconds left in the cup final, he's won the South African FA Cup for Orlando Pirates.
He is the chosen one. And Orlando Pirates look like the chosen club. They've won the South African FA Cup. It, dude, unbelievable. Of all the players, it's the 16 year old with 20 determination who's been a meme for most of the season and has continued to produce. The Wonder Kid gets it done. What a way to end it. Where is he? Lella Mella bad boy. Very happy with your performance. I mean, guys, if I was if I was designing that to be as awesome as possible, I couldn't have designed it any better than that. I cannot. I have been playing this game. I've played ten thousand hours of Football Manager. I have never seen something like that, let alone. From the guy, from the future wonder kid who we've been memeing about the whole year, who is just a mentality monster. And he went out there and he's like, dude, I got it. I am going to go get this. And he went and got it. Wow. 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 You know what's coming. To the quadruple chat. Oh. It's so cold out of the thermos. It's so cold out of the thermos. Oh, God. Oh, God. It is so cold out of that thermos. But Lella Mella Bad Boy, the wonder kid who we've been honestly including in teams as like a meme for a couple of matches this year, comes on in the cup final after earning his appearance and scores. And there's actually one more thing we need to do today.
have him, gods. We are gathered here today for the rarest and specialist of occasions. But today we honor the truly exceptional, those that capture our imagination and to whom ascend into the Pantheon to be prayed to by all in the football manager community for good luck and good fortune in the matches to come. There are but two. Two types of players on this list. There are the lifetime achievers that at the end of their save or the end of their moments at a club, they are appointed for their overall contribution. Players like David Bulo, players like Johnny Cano, players like Owen Vanderhorst. And then, There are players whose single towering achievement, whose one shining moment earns them the right to be prayed to as part of the FM Pantheon forever. Moises Denise, Joe Lewis, Johan Kerner. Today, FM Gods, Hall of Saints, I bring before you a player worthy of that honor. A player who not only is a wonder kid, who not only has become a massive meme, and who not only is naturally named Lelomela bad boy as his actual name but a player that scored an unbelievable individual goal in a cup final while being all of those things in the biggest derby in the country with seconds remaining I present for your consideration as an FM saint Lelomela, bad boy. May the mention of his name always bring you good fortune should you pray to the FM gods in a time of need. In the name of Johan Kernan, Heiko Reinhardt. Eric Mendez. And Lella Mella Bad Boy. We pray. Ramen. Ramen! All right, chat. I, I, here, let me, um, let me pull up the doc. Let me pull up the doc. Wong Shuran, Erling Holland, Jaden Sancho, Wilker Farinez, Emmanuel Buxo, Ali Shahid, Juan Chavera, Johnny Cano, Joe Lewis, Eric Mendez, 
Moises Denise, Shao Pinto, Johan Kernan, Ansi Karulainen, Shao Silva, Owen Vanderhorst, Nick McCudi, Dominic Kish, Matteo Mass, Rafael Raquero, David Bulo, Heiko Reinhardt, Lella Mella Bad Boy, Orlando Pirates. In six years of football manager, these are the best, memeiest, and most awesome players that deserve to be in the hall of the football manager lore hall of saints and stuff. Lello Mella Bad Boy. Welcome to the club. And with that, we do bring today to a close. We will raid somebody. Let's keep these good vibes going and bring them to someone else to make their day. As you guys have made mine, this has been an awesome day. I've had a freaking blast today. Uh, I, I honestly didn't imagine my mood turning around after such a brutal losing of the league. But um, we we have, uh, you know... Yeah, we, <laughs> We, we won four trophies. I don't know how I could be mad about that. I love you guys. Fist bump. Thank you to everybody that subscribed. Clean your romance. Big, a big erigamous enviosity. Thank you guys so much. Uh, I know I missed those three, but thank you for supporting the stream. It means the world allows us to, to, to pay the editors and make all the stuff that hopefully you guys enjoy watching. I really appreciate you being here today. We're going to be here tomorrow. We're going to be building a team that can freaking destroy the Mamelodi Sundowns. Uh, which is obviously something you're gonna wanna you're gonna wanna see because we are team let's destroy the Mamelodi Sundowns. Um <laughs> We are team let's absolutely eviscerate the Mamelodi Sundowns. All right. Let me uh let's figure out who we're raiding. I I found a, this guy. I like his vibes. He's locked in. Let's get a copy pasta ready, okay? Yeah, I'll see all y'all guys tomorrow. The hammers ride again into the brink of battle tomorrow. I hope you can be there. If you can't, all good. Of course, check out the live channel. Rokio, thank you for the two months. We won four trophies. We didn't win them all. Uh, we lost the league by a point. But let a mellow bad boy with an unbelievable, magical moment to win us the South African FA Cup to end the season. I got to save right now. That would be heinous if that was if that was lost to time. I'm saving. All right, the raid is set. Uh, the guy just started his streaming journey, so definitely, you know, moderate yourselves. Be nice. Um, and how'd you get into streaming? How's the save going and so on and uh, so forth. His title starts with Time to Tinker, so I'm a big believer that uh, this guy is of our ilk. He enjoys a good tinker. See you tomorrow. Oh, it's J-Lab's birthday. Oh, happy birthday, J-Lab. Everybody say happy birthday, J-Lab, while we're headed over. You're a great mod. You left it late on purpose. You're sneaky. Happy birthday, J-Lab. I just do word of the day. That's one of the craziest things I've ever seen in FM. That just goes to show what that kind of determination can do on a player, like what it's able to contribute. Just the willingness to go after that one more play, you know? Okay. Word of the day. Word of the day. Avoid avoir du du poise. Aver du poise. A v o i r d u p o i s. Averdepoise is a syn is synonymous with weight and heaviness, especially as related to the body. It also refers to the series of units of weight based on the pound of 16 ounces and the ounce of 16 drams. The coach limited is recruiting to linebackers of a certain Averdepoise. <laughs> See you at the end of another stream for another word of the day. What a word that is.